It'll be fun. Yeah, we'll see. Those All right, everyone good? Ready? Yes. Korean tensions are higher than ever. Prior forecasts underestimate the rate of modernization and Chinese diplomacy has failed. Cohen and Star 728 threatening the world. These weapons has further isolated Korea for commitment. <gasps> Remains ironclad. Uh, best reassessment from intelligence committee has been that Korea will be able to launch a nuclear capable ICBM by 2018. That would be an acceleration of two years from previous estimates. We should not be in surprise anymore. Korea is morphing into nuclear missile power right before our eyes. And Director of Defense at ACNI has 2017 has been a year of rapid progress. Korea will continue to test over and over again every time the tensions will continue to rise less than six years. Kim has said more missiles than fought this grandfather combined. The regime is convinced this most program is absolutely necessary. Efforts calling for China under pressure have proven ineffective due date. Beijing called upon Young to suspend to test while neither the U.S. or Korea shows any willingness to compromise. Consensus of experts is that North Korea is a real threat and deterrence is key. Back to all 11. North Korea has no willingness to give up its nuclear programs. And Pyongyang has gone out of its way to keep programs hidden with the increased intention that this is particularly disturbing. Review of North Korea's weapons has revealed the two track of China. Uh, both of these show that North Korea can deliver nuclear weapon high level officials in Washington and Seoul have planned a place for new focus on nuclear scenarios. The bottom line is that deterring a North Korean attack must be a high priority. Korean war goes nuclear spills over globally. Mets 13. The North Korea's most dangerous country on Earth. Our American policy policymakers fail to recognize the signs of an impending attack. Every recent war began with miscount conflict with the with Korea here, repeat this. We cannot know whether recent threats are more of the same. War could begin with missile strikes. Early attacks might include nuclear weapons. Well, war would force a military mobilization in the U.S. This would be a body blow to government spending and postpone deficit, deficit reduction conflict, which act the global economy and have destabilizing effects outside Northeast Asia. The result could be hostility in the U.S. and China. Deep economic, economic, economic connections do not prevent hostility and war. Korean escalation goes nuclear. Chol 2011. Korea remains the most inflammable global flashpoint, and any conflict likely to become a full blown thermonuclear war. Any accident or miscalculation could erupt in a devastating DPRK U.S. war with the U.S. serving the main war theater. The slightest incident could lead to war and almost catastrophic incident took place in North Korea were to react with start fighting chain reaction of counterfighting the North New Korean war be fundamentally different from all other wars. North Korea is fully fully ready to go to the length of fighting human kinds of the first and last uh, nuclear exchange with North Korean leaders are just one click away from order retaliatory strike on the US mainland it outweighs other impacts. Spec twelve thirteen the largest most dangerous threat to Korea is obvious the DPRK the defense against the threats is coordinated with the RK US alliance the most important foreign policy issue between these allies all other issues will be ancillary since twenty ten North Korea has conducted two violent provocations also yet another nuclear test North Korea has continued to advance its armed forces artillery and spec out Kim has you no know, in intentions except to carry out on the violent and corrupt policies of his father that is key to deter defense against nukes and reduces the need for preemptive attacks. Recent missile tests prove Klinger 17 North Korea's to launch of ICBM could target the U.S. with has fixated attention on how allies should respond to against nuclear capabilities or existential threats to South Korea and Japan. The U.S. must deploy defenses to deter against the North Korean nuclear threats. Uh, Trump has promised increased pressure on the military, increased deterrence and through BMD capabilities. Most immediate upgrade should be to deploy THAAD into South Korea. THAAD would create a multi layer defensive shield better than any system South Korea has. Deploying THAAD would improve South Korean defense against a North Korean attack. Deploying THAAD would enhance defense against nuclear chem biological and chemical attacks. Deployment would conclude uh, Pete Pyongyang's ability to engage in coercive diplomacy and augment deterrence by reducing the success of a North Korean strike that that would improve protection to and length of the fuse of war by reducing the need of a preemptive attack against the North. That is key to credible deterrence. Fontaine 17 uh, unseeks regime reliable their nuclear pursuits are aimed at maintaining a deterrence remain keen to ensuring that North Korea's actions represent provocations rather than direct aggression as other elements should compromise a more realistic parts of the U.S. should take the steps to protect themselves including deploying that elements in South Korea as well. Kim's pursued nuclear weapons is defensive. The possibility that it is a prelude to war of aggression cannot be excluded. The U.S. must enhance its not uh, ability not just to deter to North Korea from attacking but protecting against any attacks that do occur. That is the iPhone 6S of BMD. Cor oh, actually, that's iPhone 7 now. Korea has an upgraded pass to BMD flip phone. Pinkson, 14, former defense minister Kim, Kim said that he would have post that. Uh, the RK's current are low tier missile defense that different how they track and intercept the RK system is only capable of hitting targets at 15 km, uh, kilometers using a blast fire fragmentation that can send dangerous debris to the third ground. The THAAD is capable of intercepting medium range missiles and utilizes a direct hit to kill method that would enhance MD in South Korea by providing more more extensive deterrence like intercept uh, capacity and accuracy more without is intolerable or in uh, interoperable with other BMD and can accept cues from HS allies and other sensors independently. THAAD removal causes US withdrawals. Snyder 611. The Korea's new president decided to halt that. Moon must uphold its credibility as a strong U.S. partner. The perception between South Korea is blocking measures that are necessary to protect American forces. That, that would rapidly erode support for U.S. troop commitments. It could provide Trump with the pretext to pursue withdrawal. U.S. troop presence is key to North Korean regime stability. It allows for rally around the flag effect. Mets and Mizen 12. North Korea uh, uses the U.S. president for propaganda purposes to rally with the people of North Korea to accept, accept sacrifices. Prop up uh, the Sonyang doesn't ensure its stability in North Korea. This is good from a regional civilian and stability perspective, given the potential instability that would be caused by a sudden collapse of the DPRK. Regime collapse is bad as far as regional instability spills over. My 12 unexpected rapid collapse of DPRK could produce a major destabilizing effect in the region, include a large influx of refugees, increase the risk that North Korea's weapons of WMDs might end up on the international black market and it could result in an unstable nuclear armed regime. Presence prevents NOCO from using recent nuclear tests as a regime shield that's key to negotiations. Harvey 250 North Korea's recent test has generated much attention. Many urgent negotiations with DPRK's leaders have shown no, no interest. Obama's wisely chosen not to provide an ill deserved form of an associated stature. Uh, we must convey credible capabilities to prevent use of nuclear weapons against allies. So demonstrations of capabilities are a bolster messaging, creating doubt about whether nuclear weapons are effective as a regime shield may lead to more risk averse behavior. Kim may 
Ponder being held by the ICC may open the door for serious negotiations, but not on just nukes, but basic human rights. U.S. presence deters South Korea from escalating conflict and ensures small provocations don't spark full-scale war, and the U.S. will never initiate a conference so they can't win offense war. 14, the U.S. has prevented the ROK from taking escalatory action in response to normally considered acts of war. The U.S. leaderships are unwilling to fight in Korea. Cunnings describes the U.S. presence as dual deterrence, the simultaneous deterrence of North Korea and of South Korea from escalating, bringing the regime down through pressure is not possible because key regional powers will not allow it. War games prove presence restrains South Korea from escalating Santoro. 16, exercise CSS, CISS were featured U.S., Japanese, and South Korean nationals managing a crisis on the peninsula. That times, the U.S. seeks to deter actions by allies and ensure adversaries the U.S. can establish deep alliances with Taiwan, South Korea, and Japan to control potentially rogue allies that can entrap the U.S. into wars. Washington is a process to persuade allies of caution a mechanism to joint decision that constrain their options because allies were military dependent and were deterred from overreaching when crisis arose and initiating crisis. The exercise, South Korean participants stressed that retaliation would be automatic uh, before consultation with Washington and go beyond a proportional, proportionate response to American participants. Were this response would escalate the conflict some pointed to the CPP, which includes a consultation combined response to the U.S. wish to maintain control over South Korea to restrain, constrain, and deter SEALs. Action, you should tell me which cards to skip if it becomes necessary. Negotiations fail to turn key. IGC 15 North South Korea is divided over Pongyang. The U.S. and Korea, South Korea, appear, others appear poised to take increased impunity measures. There's little likelihood the U.S. went in her talk to Japan is also a high threat perception and will support South Korea or U.S. over the talks. The gap between positions is too broad. Either the GPRG must abandon its nuclear ambitions or the international community must accept a different type of institution. It is impossible, so deterrence and containment will remain fundamental. Plan the United States should expand current THAAD systems. Next off, uh, next advantage proliferation. The East Asian BMG is key to check conflict, but comprehensiveness is key. Clinger 11, the U.S. sends allies of reverse missile attack on the glowing number of states and non state anti terrorists, particularly in East Asia, where diplomacy has failed to stop North Korea and China. He's the most active the nuclear modernization in the world. The U.S. and Trump allies, including South Korea, to deploy missile defenses. Uh, this nuclear club has nine members, at least 32 countries, and ballistically capabilities. The ballistic missiles uh, threat is increasingly likely to continue to do so. Diplomacy and UN resolution have not deterred North Korea. The U.S. needs its allies, needs a comprehensive integrated BMT. U.S. systems cannot protect against Russian or Chinese missiles or missiles from ships. A comprehensive system would reassure allies. Missile defense system contributes to non prolif by reducing perceived need to acquire nuclear weapons. Only FAD reassures East Asian allies. Peaks in 714. Many critics fail to appreciate the role that FAD plays in reassuring sound in the shadow of his growing nuclear capabilities to strong support in South Korea for nuclear breakout. South Korea were to seek a nuclear return. It seems impossible that Japan would not follow. U.S. commitment is key to prevent allied proliferation bank. Brooks at all 13. If Washington got out of East Asia, Japan, and South Korea would go nuclear provoke a destabilizing reaction from China. The U.S. were used as security commands to restrain nuclear temptations. Where states start competing, they would boost military budgets, arm state clients, and even start proxy wars. Greater insecurity could produce cascades of nuclear pearls. Japan and South Korea and Taiwan built forces of regional competitors might seek arsenals. Nuclear deterrence can promote stability between two states. Things get shaky when they're built to multiple arsenals with less robust arsenals. As uh, the nuclear power increases, the prob prob uh, prob probability of crises goes up. Effective global non prolif regime is key to prevent. Do I need to read that card? Uh, great power war. The economist 15, though, will face the growing threat of nuclear conflict in Iran. May agree to curb its program. Yet Yahoo's wrong about the deal, but it's right to worry about the nuclear war not just because of Iran. Nuclear strategy has uh, become a rogue and regional force jostling with original powers. China is investing in submarine and mo mobile missiles. Uh, Pakistan is massing battlefield nukes. North Korea is adding to its stock. Pakistan and its weapons may fall into the hands of the terrorists. Russia has started to wield nuclear threats. China seems destined to challenge the U.S. Taiwan can escalate. The need is to revitalize nuclear diplomacy to defend the NPT. But that calls for American shores to allies' confidence. Pro-lift causes nuclear wars of all 15. South Korea and Japan, South, uh, Japan and South Korea might seek nuclear weapons. Uh, nuclear weapons in the Pacific could put deterrence at risk and create enormous temptation towards preemption. Uh, an arc of nuclear instability could place pro-lift strategies in a deep ash of history, calling for more drastic military options and arms race in Asia would increase the likelihood of nuclear war. Uh, states have, uh, may have unreliable command and control, unreliable system might prevent a technical malfunction or a launch that by rogue commanders. Faulty intelligence might cause one side to misinterpret others' moves in 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 independently. Missile pro escalates and accidental launch means deterrence can't check in response is key. 11 and 6, the real threat was by ballistic missile pro is the regional stability. Nuclear warheads in flames and some inflamed regions at the Middle East and some Indian subcontinent and East Asia with the possibility for accidental launch or rapid escalation efforts. Serious may not be a <coughs> may not have as advanced military decision process or the threat of total alienation. Uh, weak our US ROK alliance kills regional stability. Santoro and Warren 15, several states across Asia develop nuclear and long-range missile programs. The potential for war and even nuclear wars growing. Uh, US assurance of allies exists along the spectrum that Washington must carefully balance the desire to reduce the allied anxiety amongst other interests as the gap between the United States and allies becomes too large. Allies will lose faith in US assurance. A loss of confidence in the United States would serve as a reliable security gantry in Northeast Asia would send reverberations across the U entire US alliance. The alliance is key to solve existential risks. Brooks 13, the US commitments deter states from contemplating expansion and dissuade partners from trying to solve security problems on their own. If Washington got out of uh, East Asia and South Korea, uh, Japan and South Korea would go nuclear and provoke a destabilizing reaction from China. With withdrawal could lead to dangerous competition. States were, uh, would boost their military budgets. Insecurity could produce cascades of proliferation. The probability of accidents and unforeseen crises goes up. In order to counter transnational threats, states have to work together. Alliances provide the political frameworks and channels of communication for cooperation on non military issues with its new alliance in place. The U.S. is in stronger position to advance cooperation. Uh, not going to bother reading the last two cards. <coughs> okay. So now. Open for frost. Okay. Is this muted, by the way? Mm. Okay. When it's blinking, it's muted. For anyone who just came in during the one I see, the documents are all going to be in the student handouts folder in the PF section. Yeah. Uh, so if you go there, you can find the documents. Yep. Okay. I guess we'll have to read those now. Already. Uh, how long is the three. three minutes? Okay. So in your prolif argument, or like, on, yeah. like on your prolif advantage, what's the link into better U.S. South Korean like alliance? 
Uh, well, that's the Pinkston 714 card that says Thad reassures East Asian allies. There's a bunch of other arguments about commitment being necessary. Withdrawal of Thad is, uh, is a show of non-U.S. commitment. Okay, especially the status in the wake quo of withdrawal US... of Thad? What? Is the status quo withdrawal of Thad? Uh, is we, any we, advocacy that we could take a withdrawal of Thad? Uh, wait. Sure, you can Why is your plan yeah, comparatively you... better, better <coughs> than, like, what any advocacy we could take? Because we read advantages that proves the plan is a good idea. Okay, that's fine. Um, can you tell me what this, uh... Like economist evidence says uh, about like resentful nationalistic violence. Um, Which one? The, the economist fifteen evidence. It talks about how like Western norms being applied to like Asian and Russian countries leads to resentful. Yeah. Violence. So if uh, East Asian prolif occurs, that collapses the global non-proliferation regime, which makes the mm -hmm. NPT ineffective in the face of growing okay. nuclear complex. Why do countries not trust China? the NPT right now? What does the economist say about that? It says that they do trust the NPT. And it no, it says that they don't like that it's a fact of Western norms applied to them, right? Yeah, like but, they it, still could, but it still that. checks them. If other countries okay. were to violate the NPT, then it no longer serves as an effective deterrent against okay. acquiring nuclear weapons. Uh, that's fine. Uh, in your ICG evidence, um, like you just said that like negotiations fail, and then you read like three pieces of evidence in your deterrence argument about why negotiations are key to solve. Uh, which uh, which advantage is this? Uh, your deterrence advantage. Like you read three things about like deterrence, like, like key to negotiations, and then you read in the ICG evidence at the bottom that says that negotiations don't. We don't solve need to win that negotiations solve. We independently deter Korea from ever attacking because if they shot a missile across the border, okay, so we then you're shoot dropping it every card about negotiations in your deterrence argument. No, we're saying we don't need to win that negotiations are successful. I don't know how you can read negotiations happen or negotiations, negotiations do anything, and then I, I think our evidence right, like, also your, just your like evidence literally just says negotiations just fail. Like yep. if your deterrence can yeah, come from something correct. other than negotiations, then like I don't understand why you get offense. Because we literally just shoot the missiles out of the sky before they hit Seoul. Yeah. Right. So that's the only. That's way how we get stop Korea. The, the missiles are coming. We shoot them down. Yeah. That's our, the our evidence. Our evidence doesn't also say that like negotiations bad. It's just that negotiations fail absent strong deterrence. So we do have a separate internal link to that. It just says that negotiations fail right now. Yeah, deterrence is key to make sure negotiations work. You read no evidence that says that's true. Okay, yeah, let's we go actually to the have a card that says that the Harvey 215 card is actually pretty okay. good on this. Let's go to the Snyder evidence. It says that like the U.S. like uh, the U.S. like might pursue a withdrawal of forces like in Korea. Like, why would we do this if we stopped it like that? Yeah. So if we withdraw from Korea, oh, there's several internal links. I think the first one is that if we were to remove that, that would be perceived by the South Korean public as an abandonment of them, which, okay. which uh, causes public sentiment on. in South Korea. What's the first line of the card? It says that South Korea has like, independently stopped the deployment of that, right? Well, they decided to hold that, and then it gets redeployed okay. a couple so, of days like, ago. So like, why would the US leave troops as a result of South Korea deciding to stop the deployment of that? Like, no, no, no. Would so we enemies? would withdraw troops because public sentiment in South Korea would mobilize against the United States as being not a credible ally. So you're ally, going to fiat that you would... change public sentiment against the No, our the argument States. is not that we fiat that. Our argument is a logical consequence of withdrawal of that. It means that its credibility as a strong partner but becomes questioned. We don't advocate the for the Korean withdrawal government. of that. You just advocate Wait. for the expansion of it. Eh, I forget what our point right, says. <laughs> okay. Um, nah, that's all I need. Right. Can I borrow the tabletop? What? Can I borrow the tabletop? Yeah. I actually have no idea what our point says. <laughs> We like Thad. That's, that's all I know. Yeah, that's fine. We're, we're, we're Thad fine. good, you're Thad bad. Yeah. Cool. I think yeah, that's, that's fine. Yeah. Um, this is so fun. I hate doing this on a Chromebook because it's so slow. Like, I I'm just trying to find one card. Okay. Uh, uh -huh. What is this? Uh, we'll yeah, take running prep. Okay, right, cool. Really prep anything? Slow. You're at 10 minutes prep. Mm -mm. You don't need anything? I could, yeah. I think, I think we should do that. I, like that I think idea. it's pretty like, good against like, this. Three things about like, they want to like, Western I'll read it on the screen. Yeah, like, I can link them later. Uh, what was the last thing you Basically, we're just saying that. I have no idea. Yeah, it's The PF South Korea. I'll read more like the program. Should I read the counter plan first? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. 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 We read a US plan. Well, we read the US plan because they had a US counter plan. That's fair. That's fair. Well, we could have uh, read the okay. non-US plan. It made went for Asian counter plans. Um, yeah, that's really all the part of it. Can I borrow somebody's phone to time? So what did y'all use, like 30 seconds? Yeah. Okay, cool. Lawrence, can I borrow your phone to time? Uh, no, I, I got it. That's fine. Stopwatch. Did you upload the uh, doc into the mm -hmm. folder? Okay. Nothing changed in the doc, so. Okay, perfect. Oh, I, actually, hold on. I think I... Oh, sorry. I got to go download the document. Here, I'll, I'll put it in our drop off. Thank you. Whatever How many? Uploaded. Three off? Uh, three off? Yeah. What's three? Okay. Yeah. K C P. K C P. Then two. Yeah. And then D A. And then just yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Three. So three then K. Three. three. Yeah. yeah. It will go. Do you mind if I borrow your pen for this speech? Yeah. yeah. Uh, you're gonna want to upload this, aren't you? Whatever. I, I mean, I don't know how I will upload it. You should upload it before. Um, well, yeah. I'm good uh, What's up? It'll go C P. Your case. D A. K. Mm, okay. Oh. Okay. 
Uh, oh, the there most recently is. updated file is actually. Wait, are, you sure I am the, are you sure it's in the drive? I'm, I'm, I'm re-uploading it right now. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Nice. There. I was about to say, I checked my recently updated, and the most recent file I see is something called Lip Sync Lyrics, <laughs> which I don't think is the one I see. That was on email, wasn't it? Should be safe mm -hmm. in there. I mean, it's like literally the exact same document. <laughs> <laughs> Except you didn't have to fix formatting. It's a, if you say it now. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it should okay, be I'll in there. I see it. Cool. Line. So you said counter plan, our case, then hmm. two more off case positions? Uh, yeah. So counter plan, your case. Um, I think it will be the. Yeah, okay. Yeah, so it'll be uh, probably deterrence and prolif. Oh, I like how they yeah. Uh, <laughs> and then the DA here. Is there a reason the first sentence in the doc is the alternative is to endorse the methodology <laughs> of? Yes, I know. Well, that, that comes with a K, okay? I'll just make okay. it up when I get there. Okay. okay. Oh, Sounds, oh okay. isn't that how all alts are done? Yeah. <laughs> You'll make up the all when you get there. I mean, <laughs> what else would I do? It's creative. <laughs> I mean, you could, okay. Well, that was, I could write that it was your one job. That's all right. That's fine. <laughs> I know what it is. Okay. Is anybody not ready? Counter plan the United States federal government should eliminate the U.S. Ballistic, mis bil mis ballistic missile defense installations in East Asia in exchange for China's assistance in stopping North Korean nuclearization. Robert E. Kelly, 2014. South Korea is increasingly, de increasingly needs China to measure any good behavior out of North Korea. It exists only from its front from China. China is the North Korean primary pipeline to the rest of the world. If China were to cease its economic development to support North Korea and suffer major economic crisis, so long as Beijing pays Pyongyang to build. It provides diplomatic cover the United Nations provided with defense in North Korea will continue to stumble on. China will say yes, they are on board for the North Korean denuclearization efforts and strenuously object to missile defense systems in Asia policy. Scene. Beijing has decided to make Pyongyang feel the pain. China also needs to consult with the global closely with the United States. China has fully acknowledged that the North Korean Supposed to direct that to vital Chinese interests for the first time in China has begun to acknowledge the North Korean imposed actions supposed to direct that to Chinese vital security interests that Beijing is no longer prepared to rationalize or ignore the threat China has thus the long connected to the North Korean and it is ostentatiously rejects or rejects discussions between the United States and South Korea in protective of Taiwan at a terminal high terminal high altitude defense and missiles in advance radar in the peninsula claiming that it undermine the ability of China's nuclear strategic forces such as sentiments have been never before voiced like, voice so openly at authoritative levels in Beijing but now have entered Beijing Chinese strategic debates. Link turn or right, then you can go into their case. Link turn on deterrence North Korean aggression. Missile defense emboldens U.S. leaders North Korean, uh, North Korean nuclearization step 13. The external behavior of North Korea is a calibrated brink The cycle has been repeated over and over. Rather than seeking nuclear weapons for com co combat, Pyongyang has really utilized them as a bargaining chip. It is difficult to see to have mo uh, ballistic missile defense. Uh, additional turn to value to America is already a massive nuclear stop. Uh, adding to defense is akin to adding to a string of tail of an aircraft carrier. The overall balance of powers and regimes has imposed the serious constraints on them. The BMD no, would be unlikely to deter any such action. Arguments for BMD's assumption that they will work with the technologies outlined as, it, like in this chapter, cautions against this effective BMD in the America to result the intervening into regional crisis. Is by which is like willing to risk the higher risk of escalation in conflict in order to so cause the probability like, of a rogue actor launching nuclear strike against the United uh, States. Link defense. Ballistic missile defense fails. Ballistic like, defense fails. No, North Korea already has enough missiles to overthrow an overwhelmed THAAD system. Uh, element 10. A single THAAD it, battery holds a limited number of ready to launch interceptors. There's no notion that North Korea, North Korea would pause firing missiles to allow THAAD to reload. And given that North Korea has hundreds of Hoswang and Nodong missiles, it can easily recognize how large the defenses would be to the mission to intercept the incoming missiles over an extended period of time. Once again, if North Korea launches the world's more than 20 missiles simultaneously, it would likely sa saturate the radar. It would likely be nationally checking 60 objects at once. If North Korea would successfully deploy submarine launch missiles, it would uh, like overwhelm the capacity. As it had been attempted over the past year or two, the missile defenses discussed about would be ineffective against the deployment of waters from the east and west and south in the Korean Peninsula. Ballistic missile defense fails multiple missiles at fog of war. Burns 10. Any adversary to the use of several ICBMs and challenge America's ballistic missile defense systems that involve nuclear warheads, any new, uh, nuclear weapons that would be triggered would cause a mushroom cloud blast and neutron rays and firestorms over creating uh, disruptive nuclear environments such as a that it could affect missile defense systems, intercepted satellites, and combat constellations, and, and especially radars, apart from the potentially chaotic nuclear environment that realistically operational and conditions try to dizzying effects of war finding the fog of war, the bad weather would lead to the angle sun being to infrared sensors, allowing US officials to have frequently made exaggerated claims for the reliability in the deployment and dependability of national anti-missile defense systems. Impact defense in North Korea has no threat. No risk of Korean war, North Korea won't escalate. Jackson 15. Widespread escalation of fear in North Korea was patched a lot of you based on an imaginary North Korea that appears in the 60 years of observing North Korean behavior. North Korea has escalated belonging a military, isolated military attacks and a repeated naval clash with South Korea and the LC. North Korea has involved and suffers on the others, but it never escapes beyond the clash, local clash. North Korea has a countless opportunities to escalate or broaden conflict in a broader crisis and restraint. North Korean military is adventurism and become more likely, but such conflicts won't escalate into an all-out war. No risk of accidental miscalculation or this like terminal defense of their case. North Korea knows that they would lose Farley 13. Accidental defense rarely happens in uh, most wars, that, like, they seem accidental as a result of the actual deliberative strategy of policy, even if circumstances in war were unplanned. It actually requires a great deal of cooperation and coordination. Two parties have to agree on the conduct of war. Otherwise, you have to, uh, like, uh, rate a punitive rate in arms and 
in, in, nego in, our, in like in exchange for negotiation. The chances for accidental war in the Korean Peninsula are judged as quite low. South Korea has the view of the prospect of the decisive victory of the North Korea against the worst of the status quo. The United States has no interest in fighting in the DPRK. It's known as asset has repeatedly said that an ask of war, but the United, the United States and North South Korea are interested in fighting a war that the terms offer. There's little reason to think that North Korea would be interested in a war either. It probes out the Korean capabilities and rebels, but it did not press issues in a way that could have actually forced Seoul's hand. Peninsula uh, currently matches that description, although there's no virtually no scenario that North Korea could win a war. Similarly, preemptive U.S. ROK assault substantially undercut the power of North Korea's first punch. The North Korean pre nuclear program exacerbates these difficulties. North Korean nuclear sites would be among the first targets. The ability for the U.S. and South Korean agents to identify these targets remains highly uh, likely. Logic and a grim, it would be like unlikely that either Seoul or Washington believes at this point that so war is inevitable. Then, on South Korean pro, a couple of responses. North Korean or nuclear assurance is low because of U.S. reliance on ballistic missile defense law in 2013. Sustaining credibility and extended nuclear relations will get tough. Regional worries about the U.S. and nuclear policy are extended by a shift in terminology that would contract the phase to extend nuclear risk, uh, re like rest upon the basis of the U.S. deters the entire arsenal, not merely nuclear one. All these factors contributing to an erosion of the credibility of nuclear assurance cloud, uh, like can Alice depend on the found the United States to run nuclear tests on their behalf? Frankly, it seems unlikely. Van or pushing ballistic missile defense generates rising expectations that the collapse of alliances. Van 14. Folding Japan Japan's commitment to the ballistic missile defense of the Taibanong shot threatens the actual. History of the U.S.-Japan alliance and unrealistic generates an unrealistic expectation of what Japan to do because Japan's entity is to move at a frigid pace. And missile defense is no no doubt on leading on the U.S. side. Negotiations with the colors in the United States, perception of its allies with Japan. What Japan needed was the downward pressure, but also research from U.S. policy measures jeopardizing any alliance through the deployment of missile defense systems. South Korea has no technological capability uh, to proliferate. Five warns. Group of 2013. South Korea has poorly placed to consider no going nuclear. One South Korea does not have any of the facilities required. It does not have mining, milling, refining of uranium or isotope separation. Two chemical separation. It doesn't have the ability to make chemical weapons. Or three weapons operations that can actually develop the weapons properly, research, development, and testing. Two, South Korea has international obligations that prevent them from actually doing this because they value those international obligations greater at the restricted ability to acquire their nuclear weapons. Hence, there is no stock of ingredients of natural uranium, no ownership facility, no processing plant. All physical material in South Korea is under IEA safeguards, which means it is physically impossible for them to proliferate. Um, China DA. Damn, that took a long time. Okay. China revised the end of UN response to that. The U.S. based missiles in Asia defense, um, undermine Chinese confidence in their nuclear capabilities and sparks modernization. At least any all cause of China's efforts to modernize nuclear capabilities are rooted in the eyes of the U.S. defense system. The compromise U.S. nuclear deterrence and U.S. missile systems is seen as fundamentally to, to strategic deterrence due to the, the multi, uh, like, maturing of multi-layered missile defense and Chinese nuclear are losing confidence in China's offensive capabilities. Wang is the chief designer of China's missile defense and has a pessimism about U.S. forces to, make, uh, to penetrate U.S. missile defense. Missile defense has been a found, found epic on China's nuclear deterrence. Among many of the Chinese nuclear thinking, missile defense is a more important one. China must maintain a second strike capability on, on China no first use doctrine. The missile, the missile defense makes this doctrine difficult to maintain because it gives the USA a double advantage over its offensive strike and deploying defensive capabilities. Sea based Aegis missile in defense has sown the seeds for China's nuclear expansion. China military strategists all recommend an action to maintain credible nuclear defense. Modernization drives le aggression, leads to nuclear buildup and deterrence uh, failure. A small crisis would escalate into nuclear war. Taiwan example. Changes to China's no first use of policy if adopted by the CPP we could be potentially worrisome. That strategic capabilities could further militarization of Chinese foreign policy. If a large case conflict did break out, it would be more likely that China would shut the nuclear use in a debt to de escalate the conflict. Chinese foreign policy is characterized by aggression, coercive diplomacy, and may contribute to regional instability and similar worries of North Korea provocations against South Korea. China becomes entangled in a conventional conflict with a major power. The lowering of North Korea's or China's nuclear threshold would result in miscalculation and lead to nuclear escalation. Many countries have similarly responded by abandoning their objectives other may call China's bluff, but if that country views its objectives as like necessary for its national survival, if they view a limited conventional conflict as thing as they would Taiwan, it would not accept the chance that China's nuclear threats were really this is a real potential is unnecessary escalation for a large scale and potentially nuclear conflict of shift to ambiguity in the NFU is makes escalation inevitable. Missile defense is the cause. You can cut the next card. Um Security K. The portrayal of North Korea's military that is a false construction upheld by the dogmatic perception of the United States of violence mid-2000. The securitization paradigm permeates the literature on North Korea to a greater or lesser degree is the most visible U.S. Think, think tank community where analysis comes from the American Enterprise Institute, the United States Institute for Peace. They cite three cards and the, from like the, this exact institution and the Institute for International Economics is overtly shaped by the paradigm. The common sense shape view shapes all analysis on North Korea to the extent that scholarship is representing the different position. However, it's well supported by research and sidelined by the demo question that it does not fit the sociological consensus of the research community. These assumptions are so pervasive that they also creep into the analysis which does not overtly share the worldview of the securitization prism with the tendency to adapt as otherwise provides securitization view of North Korea. The securitization perspective portrays North Korean politics as mad in the sense of being irrational and noble, bad in the sense of motivation and impetus for policy being described as normally unacceptable in the characteristics and regards to the leadership. North Korea is within this bad perspective as a garrison state which justifies the militaristic policies against it. Security discourse creates the threats that are not real or objective, then through false representation which creates the exclusionary violence to prevent false war. It turns their entire case gro Groden 4. 
approaches it to deconstruct the theoretical practice in order to disclose what is hidden in concepts such as national security, have something to say, valuable to say, realist analysis, don't, uh, don't question their ontology yet to perform neutral and objective analysis in order to build a world of policy on military power and on interactions between the most powerful political units, realist discourses uh, constitute political acts in defense of the state, employing textualization to social policy to conflicts in war that does not accept to reduce social phenomena and increase various or concrete manifestations of language and attempt to analyze the interpretations of governing policy thinking it is important to recognize the policy is unsubstantiated or policy thinking is impractical because it imposes uh, analytical order to the real world in, in a world that exists in its own in narratives. Um, how much time do I have? 30 seconds. Okay, cool. Just cut that card down. Their fixation on national interests is apocalyptic scenarios and justifies endless violence, totalitarianism, nuclear war, and is an alternate vote as an alternate to his vote to the negative on intellectual criticism of the securitization representations. Ahmed 012. Recommendations for the securitization frame of our orientation is to shift away from a state centric debate towards human security as approaches valid. This cannot be achieved without confronting the deeper theoretical assumptions as they outline under the case underlying the conventional approaches to non traditional security issues. Western security discourse is by, driven by an epistemological failure to interrogate system, systemic causes and acceleration of state policy, overlooking the systemic causes of problematic systems. Ultimately, the system as approaches to global crisis suggests that conventional policy reform is woefully inadequate. Global warming is energy depletion in the manifestations of civilization, which an overshot. Um, That's time, isn't it? Yeah. Cool. Okay. Uh, down. That's fine. Uh, why vote Nick? Uh, because our DAs are true and so is our security K. Which is first? Probably the K. The K? I mean, I don't know. I mean, you didn't yeah. read the reps first, right? So. Okay. No, the, that's true. What false true. threats does the app create? Uh, the threat of either North Korea attacking the peninsula and or, I don't know, any other threats. It's just a justification in your language, really. It's a what? You justify the construction of threats. Okay, uh... But no examples in that card. Uh, it doesn't give an example from your case because it's not. Specific. Okay, counterplan. Can you kick it? Uh, no. You will go for this counterplan. Yeah. Okay. Do you want? To yeah. So China, the China DA. Uh, why will China revise its uh, non-first strike policy? Uh, so policy? China feels threatened by the expansion of U.S. like ballistic missile defense systems, and because they have a no first strike policy in the status quo, they either need to do one of two things. Your so cards about U.S. sea-based missile defense systems not bad, which are ground-based launchers in South Korea. It doesn't matter because the two cards before that are specific to that. That well, I mean, you don't like have a card in the document before that. What? Oh, yeah, well, okay. Sorry, the two cards after that. Then that's what I mean. Um, that are specific to that that says that China is explicitly threatened in the same way that that card outlines by the expansion of that. Right? The second card does not say the word that in it. It's it just does. about it's modernization like the fifth line. driving. And uh, the, the card that you said above is entirely about sea-based missile defense systems. Um, yeah, it does say that in like the second card. Which one? I, uh, none of your cards have author names next to them, so I don't know which card you're Sorry, writing. it's the <laughs> Pollock card. The Pollock That's my evidence? bad. The Pollock evidence Pollock. is specific to that. Okay. see the Pollock. Uh, why does Thad threaten China, or why does Thad cause modernization? Uh, because China feels threatened by the expansion of the U.S. ballistic missile defense system in the why region. Does it, how, why does it feel threatened by because it ballistic missile defense can't break systems through. relative to a giant carrier there? Wait, because it can't, because so the carrier doesn't shoot down missiles. I have a quick question. Is there a realistic uh -huh. threat of China war? Uh, it doesn't really matter. Oh, yeah, 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 we argued that it is. We argued that it is. You say risk of China yeah. war is high, right? Yeah, go for it. Yeah, yeah, we would argue that like risk of Chinese war, but the, the like the impact card specifically talks about. I forget because like I, he also doesn't have. Well, I mean, like, what's the, yeah, the, 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 the argument is not just that like China U.S. war is a probability, but like China with like a bunch of other flashpoints, like the East China Sea, South China Sea, but, or Taiwan, but how did, like escalate through miscalculation? How did you arrive at the conclusion that China might miscalculate and start war in places so, like the SCS? So it's like when there's like conventional military like skirmishes or conflicts or whatever. That's good this enough. this becomes more okay, like so it escalate when countries' tensions are higher, when China doesn't have the energy policy to admit, so this, that like. Puts so we can take like these. more minor conventional skirmishes and use that as reliable evidence that a threat is real. No, I, I we say when when they revise their NFU policy, that's then, what causes yeah. them the, like the other countries that they're they're having skirmishes with. Okay. Like in the I was just clarifying because I thought you said threats weren't scared. real in the K, but apparently I was mistaken. Yeah, your other <laughs> your other card is like shift to ambiguity makes escalation inevitable. Yeah. Red impact defense on the case that says no escalation. Which card is which one is true? Wait, uh, no escalation. Where do we read no escalation on the? <coughs> it's the second card in the no no co no no co threat section. Yeah, yeah, it's it's just it's talking about no no North Korean escalation. It's not like the regional escalation. Yeah, the warrants are about East Asia for sure. Alrighty. Uh, sorry, start, bro. Start, yeah. Do you want this? Um, yeah, we'll take it in a sec. I mean, yeah. Also, the, yeah. Okay. Cool. Do you have any questions? Yeah. Do you have any questions? Yeah. Do you have any questions? Yeah. Do you have any questions? 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 Do you have any questions?
No, 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 that's that's on in our case. I mean, on on oh, their on case. case? Uh, Steph, so yeah. okay. That's only going to be another doctor. Yeah, really, except um, for the more lucky stuff. The deep think that deep, they don't think these way too old. Yeah. To count. Um, it's just the D in the count. Mine, you already got the security game front line down, I'm pretty sure, so. And the case turns to DA. You cut this code. What's the reason why South Korea is capable of proliferating? What? The reason South Korea is capable of proliferating. Um, um, three warrants. Yeah. One, acquisition from other states. Two, massive re shifting of internal budgets towards uh, developing nuclear capability. And okay. Um, I gotta go, so is um, merely the merely the because sort of signal that they're gonna this card is, trigger, is sufficient to trigger early. So the like threats okay. uh, aren't necessarily real. Uh, so he's gonna capacity use that as defense to attack. Yeah. Yeah. No, he's not because, because he's obviously if he can see that that's not real, then like no, that's right. Yeah, then yeah, no, like you don't he's just gonna try to just like run like some sort of thing. And our scenario is that's even so. Honestly, it's fine. I think I was. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna give the really sketchy response that we're just engaging in the affirmative method. Alright, yeah, eight minutes and three I seconds left. I think it'll be funny. <laughs> 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 I mean, it's a crap method, it's fine. You might upload it, Lawrence, but I actually don't know how to do that. Yeah, just save it. I will save it now. Yeah, um, I think, depending, I'll probably just go to the case and get the case. I don't really understand the can. I don't want to do it. Okay. I have no idea how to read it. I'll just think. That's what you're doing. Speech two, yeah. Yeah, sorry, yeah. I just typed in some nonsense. But I have it also on one page. Should we see? Oh, yeah, yeah, it's, 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 it's so it. hard to speak that for that one. I know. I'll get that. I slowed <laughs> way away. Well, you just gotta like pair. Uh, I'm gonna this round is not. Right. Yeah, do it. Oh, I know. Um, <laughs> so. Yeah, tell me. You're, you're gonna we are going to debate about that. Close um, close um, we can close read close the like their justification increase that chance of US or as like an independent. Alright, it's uploaded. Like this is like a good card for that. Um, method, a methodological link into the DA. That yeah. makes no sense. Yeah, it does. No, no, no. Dude, the K can't link to the DA. That Why not? Any sense. That makes so much sense. Like if you justify the US like attacking no. China. Do you have the because the K is like threats aren't real. We can't say like oh, no, that creates Chinese yeah, sure, modernization. Or Orientalism K does not link into the DA because yes, does. we are like making Our predictions about China too. No, but it, I mean, it, 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 it's not about predictions of China. What is it about? Right. Trying to fix the East, we're trying to like prevent the East from being unfixed. But like, I no, 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 because no, no, we're not trying to fix the East, right? We're not doing anything. Our action is just like no, not. We really are. We actually like have a. We, we, we remove action. We remove, we remove, remove action. action. We're making a deal. That's that's a deal. That's like U.S. No, action. It's no, it's a deal is still U.S. action. <laughs> <laughs> okay. To world red, but I pulled this. I was doing that. <laughs> he says it all. Awesome. I didn't know anything. Someone kill the spider. Kill it. Kill the spider. What's the order? Uh, the order is going to be the deterrence advantage, so advantage one, the proliferation advantage, then the counter plan. Then the disadvantage, then the critique. So, case. <laughs> I'll try. Counter plan, DA, K. I don't, I don't yeah. close, so. Okay. That's different from you now and the new judge. <laughs> Alright, I'm ready to get destroyed. Oh, yeah. Deterrence, then prolif? Mm -hmm. yeah. Deterrence, yes. prolif? <laughs> oh, yes. That's correct. Cool. Yeah, we dropped the. Is anybody not ready? Yeah, that's fine. Anyone else All right, then I will begin. 
All of their defenses too old, they've conceded this Qatar and Kohen event, which is from this week, and says that all of Korea's missile tests prove that they're modernizing faster than their students and are on the path to war. Back to says that the consensus of experts will escalate the mess evidence, and the troll of the conceded is that miscalculation and drawing can happen because China, the US, Russia, and all have stakes in the region, which means it's a probably likely to spiral out of control as proven by the past Korea war. The step evidence is answered by the Fontaine evidence that says nuclear deterrence alone is insufficient, even if we do have a, a sensible commitment to using nuclear weapons to defeat Korea, will not trust that we do use them if we pull out both our true presence and will say they've conceded that if, even if that alone is insufficient, the entire US will withdraw because the removal of that we're no longer committed to the region in terms of either conventional nuclear deterrence, which means the entirety of our deterrence structure breaks down because all of it is interwoven within each other. The element and burden evidence are evidence for us because they say that other forms of the BMD are insufficient, which means the status quo South Korean BMD is ineffective because they cannot shoot down missiles reliably. Which the reason why that is necessary is the only one that has the ability to shoot missiles out of the sky with a very high degree of accuracy. There, evidence just as the Koreans have no dog missiles, which have hardened the innuendo is just the reason why the medium range ballistic missiles were something that that is key to solve because Korean BMDs have the equivalent of a technological flip phone and uh, it's insufficient reason well, only the U.S. has the gusto and the ability to actually something independent and drop these separate internal links that in, uh, irrespective of Korean motiv motivations in the North, South Korea is more likely to aggress and I don't think the U.S. has their back which means separate from North Korea attacking there's also a scenario for South Korea going with the Jackson evidence it's just an assertion they will ask they have conceded that that is proven to be false by the fact that North Korea has continued to provoke since then it also doesn't assume the fact that the United States commitment has been steady for the past 50 years and that's the reason why there's been no uh, escalation but the one time we did withdraw was right before the Korean War which proves that there is the possibility for that to reverse now. The second event they dropped two impacts here. First is missile proliferation causing conflict independent of proliferation. That was the 11th drive. And second is they conceded that Korea is the linchpin of the entire global alliance system because it proves that we are no longer committed to our main allies and we do not protect them in face of their existential rivals. It proves that other countries would not trust us across the globe, which means the entire North facing international system breaks down the lines of it. takes out the card there and the other advantage because it says that nuclear deterrence is insufficient, but it doesn't say that BMD is bad, which means it's not responsive to our advantage. They're arguing about shooting budgets, etc. It's into our which says that South Korea has the a rapidly modern and modernized economy, which means they can shift its budget around if they wanted to and get nuclear weapons easily. As proven by the fact that other countries like Japan have the capacity and already have nuclear energy for peaceful purposes. The independent of South Korea, they consider it's not just about Korea itself, it's about the entirety of East Asia. Countries like Japan could easily nuclearize separate from South Korea and obviously would if they perceive the US was backing out of the region as a whole. We don't need to win the Korea nuclearize to win. The, 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 the normal monopolization would go down if we allow rogue violence like the North Korea to violate the MP2 with impunity, which means that there is still a scenario for nuclear relation, even, even if it's not from South Korea specifically. Now, the Kind of actually come back to the first event. I want to read a few more cards. Middle Trust and Korean War more like now board 17. The U.S. tested an unarmed ICBM on Sunday. The second test that that was conducted. The test comes out made a statement with North Korea which tried to launch a rocket early. The People's Republic tested ICBM when the White House is done talking about North Korea in the world. And North Korea ultimately had an impasse. The military action could be the only option. Sure, North Korea continue one of those. Is Trump Graham said the United States go to North Korea if it keeps testing now the counterplay. It doesn't solve either of the advantages that results in a removal of BMD, which we have said is necessary to solve all of our impacts. The counterpart also fails because they can see the one AC Cohen and Star Avenger that was from this week and said that China has already done this. They also said they do since those cards were written and it has failed because China has tried to push and pride North Korea and China. North Korea just does not listen. The reason why deterrence is the only reliable strategy. Permutation to the counterpart. There's a chance that China says no, which means the counterpart is functionally just the affirmative with some uncertainty tacked on permutation to the plan and pressure China to assist in North Korea about the nuclear program. There's no reason why the only way to have a Tit for tat is by exchanging the plan for the concession permutation of the plan and impeach Trump in exchange for China's assistance in stopping North Korean nuclear weapons. We offer any number of carrots and sticks. There's zero reason why that is the necessary or sufficient means to choose that they're not the necessary or sufficient itself. Also, China cannot restrain North Korea free in 17. China failed to restrain North Korea's halt nuclear program. China does not want to take action. North Korea does not trust China, but it does trust that having a nuclear weapon to block American attempts to DNA stabilize the region. Although China cares about trying to more and more about geopolitical balance in the U.S., the U.S. chooses not to attack the Air Force. The U.S. chooses to attack China. Will be spared that problem. Conditional government are voting. Sorry, conditions government are voting. The outcome of the counterman is uncertain, which makes it impossible to know what we're answering. And music is burdened because it means solvent in terms of implementation means the counterman could just be the affirmative. They also said that it is unconditional, which means it links to the critique. But they also take a military action in order to try to support the Korean War. They have also said they thought that we should not hear about also the Pollock evidence that China has already chosen to twist Korea's arm and it did nothing, which means the counterman is either just a status quo or it doesn't solve. Also, links to the disadvantage because it looks like us trying to manipulate China, which they obviously would think that provokes things like NFU usage. Now, the DA. There is no link to the, the jangling cards by the sea based missile defense systems which already exist and are not bad, which proves that worse is alternative causes that make the disadvantage and inevitable. There's no Taiwan conflict. Kastner, 13 relations across the Taiwan Strait have stabilized worse reflecting moderation and approach Beijing and Taipei have taken with the sovereign dispute Beijing have commodified to Taiwan policy adopting a more possible approach to watch. The result has been approved in relations across the Syria, the Syria, the and dialogue between officials cooperative agreement to travel and commercial links to the reductions in threatened military forces. This conclusion holds even if the interchange is really important in Taiwan. Also, Asian militarization is inevitable. Only U.S. presence sufficiently reassures and deters the career.
Krapinovich, 15. China wants to slowly shift to the regional battle, leaving the rest of the city. Two times the portion of China's neighbors are convinced that diplomatic engagement will do little stuff while including Japan and the Philippines to be in our focus in military and the lack of resisting China's ambitions. They know that every individual action will be insufficient only with the U.S. material support. Can they deter China both in advantage of turning this because that China will get drawn into a Korean war in advantage of one and also a broader global alliance system and things like not proliferation make it less likely that China gets drawn into conflict because East Asia is more peaceful. Uh, writ large, also China's rights. It's inevitable, regardless of U.S. military presence there, Kropinich, finishing China's enhanced and its capacity to target U.S. military assets, EPLA, as commissioned most of the song of the and radar and, uh, and satellites, and the submarines with the torpedo of these actions cannot be explained as a result of our response to U.S. military for the last second. Washington has focused on Afghanistan and Iraq. The U.S. budget is projected to decline to 3% of the Pentagon. It's shedding military capabilities with the PLA as a message. Also, we must contain China. They are already on the path to war. Holbrook 17. Adding fuel to an already combustible situation, China has completed the construction of military infrastructure in the SES. The reality is that a hell of a lot of military hardware in those waters. The U.S. forces are in the region and are taking part in joint drills with the South Korea's Japan. Said it's most powerful warship. They showing no signs of backing with the long decade decade collision. Of course, the way it may not be for our perception of a diminished U.S. commitment. Actually, I don't need that. Do, 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 do. What? Um. China relations directly shut off with Korean relations. Free broke 15 day preparation. I have the many Korean exchange with the repression of South Korea had nothing to do with the operations. The Chinese were worried about these people because they the barometer of U.S. Korean relations. Anything that creates a higher and closer U.S. alliance is something that China is not going to support. That's key to maintain regional stability. Campbell 11 in a row. Our OK relationship done right security in the region. One country stand up. The DPRK red race and I'm going to the third to come. We just built in duty equalization. The North Korean agent lost his place in central deterrent. Replication providing deterrent to Russia and Prime. Leverage to be on the DPK. China is already aggressing. The only check is expanded to his commitment to East Asian allies. Hey, 10, 731. This month, Hanoi Bay pit the pit the to Beijing over the most disputed water in the South Korea. East Asia will conclude the U.S. does not have their back there. No 10 of set of water in China have been threatened and cajoling and suing for resources. The Vietnam was told that unless the journalists of China would take a military action, this is a dramatic threat. The implications are obviously China is going to set the rules in the SCS if Vietnam can be timid and then so every other country in the region. The U.S. is not prepared to put skin in What is the point of Fan Ox if the Washington does not support the country receiving China's pressure? The Hanoi has Washington had about China could have been deterred also. I don't need the next card. Skip the super bad scenario. Well, the obvious in this alternative crosses like our base in Guam, Fanox, and SCS, Yokosuka, Naval Base in Japan, Taiwan, Arms Sales, Sanctions, or Korea, Japanese BMD, all of which obviously would threaten China if they are afraid of US presence in the region. CX also presents this entire DA is a direct contradiction to the critique because they said that they can make predictions about conflicts that are real and like an essay based on past experience, which is literally the identical to what they want to see, is that prove that it's either inevitable or they link it just simple. China does not give a fuck about that. But still, look at the team. China's not a president of Beijing, uh, since 2011 revisions, the engagement stabilizing the NDSS in the veto, UNSA has called by establishing the uh, against US opposition to shows that Obama's papers so far proved the limited Americans, but happens to being openly challenged, this is not likely to change another critique. Framework through focus on the implementation of the plan versus the competitive policy action. A supporters clash they shift to the goalposts, which means the entire one is the one is the B supporters research from this infinite number of non topical critiques, which is excellent. Four scopes, small scopes, C supporters, no knockoffs. You can run the critique as a impact framing or a counterpoint to D supporters, the F choice and just clash and depth of education and permutation. Do both permutation, do the end plan and challenge security in every other instance. There are cross groups that they think some threats can't be real. They have to prove why our specific one is not. Their evidence is laughable. It's from 2000, and since then, they, uh, Korea has refined uranium, made nuclear bombs, and been tested ICBMs, and all the little truths there are not the sort of a kind of, kind of hard softies. Their evidence seems the DA is actually. So the advantage actually refutation of this entire army because the Korea is rational and capable of deterrence, which is the opposite of painting them as irrational work for team. The notion that the DPRK is irrational to anything by the leaders, maybe the most calculated in the world, North Korea represents an extreme example of the international system now, and it's pressure to end up a message that could cause Pyongyang, truly calculated the interface of the external dynamics of the military first policy, it's a clear outgrowth that the ship, whatever the dissolution of the Soviet Union, the Pyongyang is still a rational actor, albeit a deeply idiosyncratic deterrence, should remain in place. They cannot figure what the alternative does or how it solves. It's just a laundry list of unverifiable assertions that uh, suspicion of root cause has zero evidence is more than you should Our evidence only deterrence is reliable and methodological valid more for. There are traditional causes of the world may play one motivated aggressive reality, so there may be infinite set of factors motivating aggression. It's not the only thing that exists in such a bit of factor for, but there is a pretty the current of power system that is key to more factors control than we need to say. Extinction point. outweighs. Uh, uh, Martha Carter War. Extinction outweighs, obviously, does it, there's no term impact to the critique, but Johnson Neville's notion of threat conjunction, which presupposes the possibility of threat escalating as a result it of that. Turn the case. If we have, yeah, it doesn't turn the case because I've seen those specific deterrence being key. Uh, extinction outweighs uh, some nebulous impact of securitization. Cross X? Uh, sure. <coughs> yeah. <clears throat> okay, I just have some questions about some of the things I didn't catch. Wait, can I ask something Shoot. first really quickly? Yeah, you go first. Uh, what evidence do you extend, uh, like, in the first half of your deterrence argument that is more recent than ours? Uh, the very first card in the case, yeah, and the first card we extended, Cohen and Star, yeah, is from, like, three or four days yeah. ago. Okay. Okay. And, and says that deterrence. previous estimates of Korea underestimated the threat because they've been progressing towards military modernization much faster than experts. Yeah, okay. Okay. Yeah, Plus, our deterrence key arguments are all from within this month. Yeah. That's also okay. true. Okay, um, 
So the, like the board seventeen card you read when you read extra cards on yep. the AC. What does that say again? Uh, this just says that Korean War is very likely. Recent missile tests prove this. It's something that you haven't from twenty ten. Obviously, could not take an into yeah, account because it yeah, happened yeah, in like the, the past warrant, year. The warrant is just like miscalculation. Oh, well, the so warrant is North Korea now has intercontinental ballistic missiles that can hit the right, United States. Right, but like, why would they like launch them? They just they, they, they would just decide to launch them one day. Uh, there's a number of distinct scenarios. One that you can see that I pointed out was maybe South Korea aggressive. Okay, okay. And but in in this card, like, what does the does the card have a warrant about why? This card specifically happen. is the internal link that it's says North Korean that, war okay. is very likely impossible. We read specifically because they're building up their weapons. That. Okay. Yep. Okay. Cool. Um, those weapons we need to shoot down. Bashner card, you read the first card on the alt cause to the DA. Yep. Can you explain that card? I just didn't catch that. Kasner. Yeah. Oh, Bashner. on the DA? Yeah. Which card are we talking about? Kasner. 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 Oh, that's just no Taiwan conflict. You, your impact oh, is okay, about cool. moderation. Oh, yeah, oh, sorry, that one. Yeah, that wasn't an alt causes card. That was just there's no impact. Oh, okay, card. I fully yeah. The alt cause argument was just me listing a bunch of stuff. You listed alt causes. Cool, cool. And then um, you read, like, the... the Framework stuff. Actually, wait, can I ask one thing? Your yeah. Krepnovich card? Or Which Krep one does this do? Krepnovich. The first one that you read that says, like, the U.S. key is to stopping, like, any Chinese aggression or, like, Asian militarization yep. inevitable. Um, is that just, like, military? Is, like, the terminalization of the impact that, like, militarization is developed in small scale conflict? Are you asking what the impact is? Yeah, what's the impact? Well, so, for example, when you reference things like, Chinese aggression in the ESCS. This is your explanation of your own DA and cross yeah. That's more likely when countries like Vietnam, who are otherwise feeling capable of challenging China, don't think the U.S. has their back, and they allow China to run roughshod <coughs> over them in places okay, cool. like and the Trade and aggression gets worse, worse when then they don't feel like the U.S. has their back. Okay, cool. Yeah, okay. basically, you gotcha, just like gotcha. cede all of your station to China to bully its neighbors. Okay, right. and then a couple we more. First, oh, one more card that I didn't catch. Missile, missile 15. The bottom on the DA. The last card you read on the DA. Oh, the, this one is under AT threatens China. The Musali 15 just says China doesn't give a fuck about you. US presence, I'm gonna do it once anyway, which means Okay, cool, cool. Link. Is that US presence? Okay. Um, cool, US presence. Okay, cool. And then finally, like the framework argument on the critique, is that a voting issue? No. Okay, cool. Uh, I think that's it. Oh, wait, actually, one yeah, more card. Uh, mold that. four on the critique. Mold? More? Oh, M O O R E. Yeah. The last card I read. Uh, this card says that there's an infinite number of non-falsifiable root causes of the world. Like, maybe it's really our mindsets. Maybe it's really some, oh, like, okay. secret couple of government officials. The only reliable proximate cause we know is that countries respond rationally to us threatening them. <laughs> okay. So the way we know for a fact Korean War doesn't escalate is that we stop the war from having in the first place by threatening to shoot the missiles down. We can't guess that we saw the one root cause and just hope they don't aggress. Cool. So where'd you mark the war code? Um, uh, that's a good question. I think I marked it at war. Yeah. Motivating factors for war? Alright, we'll take More effectively some controlling war. Somewhere over okay. Yeah. So, okay. Let's start with the case. So, in the case. Um, okay. So, I'll take the chart first. I think that's one of the more likely cards to read. Okay. Because it's specific to that. Yeah. Um, and then on the K, I think. Um, actually, any of these cards probably looks like they're all kind of short. Look at ones you like most. Um, Derek like Cohen Evidence says that. I don't want to K back for a long time. Um, Two NC is gonna start soon. Okay, cool. Um, you we'll probably do bed check before the two NC, just okay. FYI. Um, all the speech name. docs are in the. Yeah, we're we're affirmative. Okay. Um, all the speech docs are in the PF handout section of okay, the yeah, Google yeah. Drive, so yeah. you can find them there. I find slight irony in that. What? Okay. This is PF. Yeah, I really should have verbatim. I'm just like copy and paste. Verbatim is so <coughs> easy. And you can't. I know. It's uh, so um, um, okay. so okay. the, the, the easiest yeah. response to like, the Cohen evidence is that it says that uh, the U.S. doesn't like. I think top of that I could be the one that's like I know. Like in the region, and okay. just fixing like. Because I already like, talked. Well, he doesn't respond specifically to like our DA evidence about like why China like doesn't have full pressure um, because they like. Are get some weird things at the bottom. The rest of the United States. Yeah, we also have more positive things first. No, I think we're doing pretty much the same. We're sort of the same. Korea. Our case is the Cohen evidence. The Cohen evidence literally says like. 
You know, it's like no. I don't think positive pieces are going to be like that's why they're being though, right? Like if the same piece, like the same piece offered. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Yeah, it's like lack of cooperation with China. So obviously not. Yeah. Yeah. Then I would just say realism. Um, Google it really, and um, the went evidence of the uh, this question that came first. Yeah. I really like the example. Went, went, went to 2K. Yeah, the one that's like Montezuma. Yeah. That or I, well, I said there was a contradiction. I didn't say there was an issue. Yeah. Do you want the Alright, what was going to say? Oh, you read the staff version? Okay, cool. Yeah. Um, I'll read. And I'll read. Is this the first one we've seen Jacob Zorro? No. No. It's possible? Yeah, so we'll do it later. Now you have to read. Um, I'll read that. I can't read it. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, You'll just go for the piece. Lawrence with my 2A. And then, okay. Just give my 2AC. And over ambitious future. <laughs> <laughs> I can't read any new cards ambitious. in the 2 1 what? and R, right? Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. No, I can't read it. Oh, you, no, you totally can. Oh, I can? You can read as oh. many new cards yeah. as you would like. Yeah, it's oh, just in the, the 1 and R. Not 1 the one and R is just like that's functionally an extension of the 2NC. Yeah, okay. So okay, you can okay, read whatever you want. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Treat it like a constructor. Cool. This is fine. Then I'll read this in the 1 and R. Why is that? Um. Yeah. What was the first evidence that you read? What? What was the first evidence that you read at the top of your the board board card? At the top of the entire speech? Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. Board 17. Okay. I'll it's the very top card in the dock. <coughs> the no Taiwan conflict thing is not like an example. Like, we just give Taiwan as an example, and it's not just about like Chinese aggression, it's about like anybody threatening China in any way. I'm pretty sure right? like, 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 his defense of the CP is like really bad. So, you like to get into this China, China is more aggressive, yeah, yeah, yeah. Fine. China is more stronger in terms of the alliance, as well as military options. Which color are you talking about? In our world, China is a military conflict. Nuclear conflict, like the moment it happens. I mean, we know that there's like nuclear conflict. after a lion? You can see their looks in the Right? That should be like the big thing that you go for, right? Yeah, it's like this pushes. Because we win a risk of war, which doesn't even mean that any defense in war is less than it. All that he says is that war is well than war. We outweigh on the impact level, because obviously, like a nuclear war in the guards level, much worse than but whatever like, his the, status it's quo is. Like, we don't adequately right? assure right. Japan, but that definitively yeah. is yeah. 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 So, Okay, so he gives the argument that China is going to be like, they're so fucking slow. So I'm using 90% of my prep time to find, kind of push cards and then take them back. Sorry, okay? He, he, he reads the argument that like China is in the, like, China wants to be like, moving U.S. presence as a result of like, China's gonna like aggress in the region. Right? The impact of that is like status quo war. The impact of our thing is like, nuclear war as a result of like, any China, like any aggression towards China or any Chinese aggression. Any small scale military conflict in the DA, like, in, in the world of like pro, leads to nuclear just war. Japan being the same scenario, obviously. Yeah. But we which means that if we win any risk of any well, military conflict, not, like, which like, obviously is because one of his current scenarios, they, so I don't know how to address the permit on the CP. Already have. Um, they already have BMD, don't they? No, they, the, the permit and the CP are like, are like we can just do two settle on it. They get to say like we can just engage in just other action. They get to just like extend their fiat action to like some random thing about like oh we'll just like, yeah, just, like whatever kill Trump and then like China. Like, U.S. That's, like, Japanese firms are collaborating on new missile defense. Uh, yeah. I don't know. Yeah. That's the point. They're like they're saying we can do No, but you can't do both. You can't do both without them arguing for top collaboration. Right? Like you can just kill Trump and then engage in this. Like no. Yeah. So it's like Forbes or He says like it's amazing that Japanese companies are working with the U.S. And, and then we do yeah. like, and then uh, Jap like, Japan like, is very no, interested in acquiring this authority. Yeah, so, um, <laughs> like, of the like, 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 four of China, like, and, and, like, 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 and, like, it's actually not free of us that we can just do some other random tip for tat when we say that in the realm of the debate. I don't really think it's relevant. Yeah, that's what I'm um, yeah. Whenever they're done prepping, we'll do bed check. You all should go to bed check now. Yeah. Can we, just take Every, can we steal the extra? Prep? Sure. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Everybody go to bed check and then come back here. We'll do the two and see when people get back. We'll start at about ten forty. So. Yeah, ten forty five. I think. Ten forty five. Can I ask you? Be back by ten forty five. What were the two curries you read? On the K? Yeah. Oh, no, no, on the ZP. The, the, oh. Um, well, they're in the speech doc. Yeah. Every card that we read is in the speech doc. Oh, I didn't know. I didn't read the speech doc. That's why I missed so many cards. Oh, uh, the perm to the K. No, yeah, to, to the perm. Do the. 
Perm do the counter plan. There's a chance that China says no, which means the counter plan would just be the F. Um, and then Perm do the plan and pressure China to assist in reigning in the program. And then I re reasserted the same one, but specified that the carrot and stick would be impeaching Trump. Yeah. Oh, we didn't read the other proof? No, I didn't. Wait. Yeah. Okay. Carrot and stick is impeaching Trump. Yeah. I just gave you the shape. I don't get it. Uh. <laughs> no, let me check if I have that check. Okay. I will send you mad speech doc. When, uh, Wait, I don't, I don't actually have speech stuff yet. I know, I know, I know. I'm saying I will send it to oh, you. Oh, yeah. Who's, who's, who's you wanna, the one at the no, I'm the two, I'm the two. Use my computer, crap. Oh, but I don't have, it's fine. It's fine. Uh, Zubin's the I, one. I already made speech stuff. Yeah, I'm on your speech stuff. Oh, that's right. I have speech and you're on your stuff. stuff. All right, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Wait, 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 wait. You're on someone's speech doc? This is so silly because it's Google Docs. I know. I, I might have a Chromebook, so it's shit. So it takes so long to load these cards. Oh, God. That's, that's why I get most of my prep time is copying and pasting cards. Okay. Um, I don't know. Okay. The DA were kind of. Wait, I'm like, I'm I'll just go for like the CP for the I think we're having an interesting debate about trying to containment versus. Uh, I mean, they're yeah, they're yeah that's the, the biggest thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, that, that is okay. There's that and the random security thing after that. Yeah, I, that, I don't know. Because <laughs> Zubin's going to do that. 250 words to do. The security was so short. How many speeches are there left? Five. Wait, it's an hour and a half round. You're the guy who knows everything about debate, right? <laughs> he does every single thing. <laughs> Literally everything. I mean, he's the closest There's one here. Oh, okay, yeah. We don't even need to hire other staff members. We just need to clone Jacob. Can you, can you give an overview to the cadets about how like, we're, like, you, like how that's not uh, constantly like, like how we're going to learn right now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you want to give the overview of like the... Yeah, yeah, you do that because I think that should be all in the K flow. And then I can, yeah, I can just read quotes here. And then, okay, this is fine. Uh, you mean college timings or high school timings? College. 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 Um, Mostly because they're 1 a.m. Can I see the theory sheet that you read? Yeah. Oh, the K? Yeah, on the K. Yeah, sure. Do you do college policy? It takes so long. This was just like the outline of what I said. I didn't say it like verbatim. I was just going along this rough draft. Yeah, yeah, you read. Yeah, just like. Yeah, the the plan the NDTs, the a lot of the decisions okay. take about two hours. I think I made all these so arguments. What are you doing as far as just go chill? Yes, wait. Just sit in the room and wait. Yeah, yeah, you, you, oh, you, we talking you, about like after the round ends, but before decision time. Uh, often, like say after round two, it'll be lunch. So you go get the food, you come back, you eat there, talk with your team, talk with other people. If you're a good person, around. you'll upload your speech talks during that time. Yeah, that's true. Oh, so that you don't wait for disclosure and then the judge like giving their art. No, we, we wait. Well, yeah, so that that the judge will spend like twenty to fifty minutes deciding most rounds. Sometimes upwards of an hour, depending on the tournament, um, and then you'll get that decision afterwards. Okay. But there's like an hour in between where the judge is deciding the round and doesn't. So do in that 15 minutes, you just like leave, go get lunch or something. And you, yeah. You come back to the room and talk to the judge. Yeah. So usually, like my partner and I will step out of the room and immediately talk about the round, just like you know, shoot the breeze. Um, if there's food, we'll go talk with other food. teams about how their yeah. rounds went. Yeah. Um, prep for the next round if you have an idea and what you're doing in the next round. Um, we're on the when we're on the negative, we're usually updating our wiki. On the app, we'll probably read like. A similar, if not identical, app, so we don't need to do that. But on the negative, we've read a bunch of new stuff, and so we put that up on the wiki. Um, that usually takes like 10, 15 minutes at least. Well, that's probably just because of us. <laughs> and then you come back to the room? Yeah. Yeah, you gotta come back to the, get the decision yeah. eventually. Well, how do you know? Like, do you just like, assume a decision will come, you just return any even more? Do they text you or something? Uh, well, you, usually, like, I would always ask the judge before leaving, like, hey, do we have a while? Maybe occasionally the judge will be like, no, this round is exceedingly clear. I'll be ready in like five minutes. And then you know not to go very far. But usually they'll be like, yeah, you got a while. Yeah, because they'll read through like every card that was really okay. well, okay. Yeah, so the way it's usually done is there'll be an email chain created and everyone, including the judges, is on it. Cards, but they're yeah. from different leads. There's one L I and one L I. I figured that's going to happen in any topic about Korea. And they both they both the same thing. It's so funny. Okay. Including the ununderlined parts. Oh, I college Mostly professors, grad students, people associated with the debate team. And former debaters. Yeah, that's true. Oh, but no one who's currently, because I know Parley, like, current debate. No, it's not like Parley and judging. Parley will be, like, other people competing. 
Once you judge, I think you lose eligibility to compete. No. Yeah. And make, it's definitely the NDT. You can't yes, you can't, you can't judge the NDT, but you can judge at like a one or two locals before losing your eligibility. Okay, I didn't know that. So could you be? Can you be a college student but just like no longer competing? In the yes, team? I believe yeah. that's possible. But then you would sacrifice your ability to ever compete in the future. Yeah. So you feel like professors and like grad students are they still able to follow speed? Yeah. Or? So yeah, it good. felt really weird to me when I first got to college, because in high school, I was used to like, oh, you have this like old middle-aged dude in the back of the room. Oh, he's like a parent, go slow, speak persuasively, and you go fast when it's a college kid. At the college level, those people who look like random parents and probably are parents of children are also professors who've done debate for 30 years and can you know, follow speed just fine. Yeah, like, like Ken, well, Ken well, Strange, who's like yeah. 80 years old, regularly judges <laughs> Elam round debates that are at like four hours a minute. I mean, not that he's like the opposite. He's, he's certainly the, the exception, not the rule. Yeah. Um, but yeah, like our coach is like 45, has a daughter who's like 10, still judges around. I would never subject myself to judging a policy debate. Really? Level. It sounds awful. I think it's fine. Reading through all that sounds awful. Yeah. I'm not, a, I'm not, uh, I could judge now. Uh, I haven't yet because I just graduated. So like this year would be the first year I could judge college policy. I'll probably mostly be judging LD in high, the high school level because that's what I'm coaching. Um, but like provided I had a weekend off in a college tournament and offered me a job, I would probably show up and judge. I don't know. Yeah. I guess it's probably oh, a bit oh, more because the tournaments um, are longer and the rounds are longer. Like, Georgia will offer, like, 50 Like, the offense that he raised against the DA yeah. doesn't yeah. return it. And, he, like, the defense that he raised against the DA So, for, like, so probably... Well, it's, like, three hours of work. I could say, like, yeah, two and a half to three hours of work, so... I'll just be reasonable. Like, you don't judge every round of the DA, to be so... Yeah, see if he solves the DA. Yeah, that's fine. But here's the best thing, right? Like, you read the best thing, like, the U.S., like, presence is key to, like, solving the DA. Yeah, the standard tournament will be, like, you show up Friday evening, Saturday has four rounds, which is just, like, 7 a.m. to 9 I have, I have a lot of answers on Sunday has yeah, four like, rounds, Sunday has three. Those are the eight pilums, and then Monday will have four to five pilum rounds, depending on whether they're doctors or not. Yeah, 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 yeah. China will really have more people. Yeah, it's good if China yeah. Usually the big tournaments run really late into Monday, and the finals run probably continue like one a.m. on Tuesday because it'll have gone like all the way through Monday. No nuclear war. Our scenario is preferable, right? Because no one attacks. Does that make sense? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like we are like. It, the biggest difference for me, or one of the many differences for me between high school and college, is you know how in high school, I think this is usually true of both PF and LD, the double flighted? Yeah. And so you have a lot of downtime between rounds. There's less disclosure, so there's a lot less to prep between rounds. Oh. In college, basically every waking hour, if you're at a debate tournament, is doing work. You're which I enjoy because I'm very it's competitive, like, but it's a very different atmosphere. Then like, when I was at a local yes. tournament in high school, I'd like sit down, play cards for an hour, and then go to the next round. At college, yeah, yeah. Either you're in a round for like that two hour period, or you're prepping for the next round, or you're debating that next round. Or sometimes both, because if you're the one in R, you might be prepping for your next That's round. That's true. Yeah, if you're the one in R, like Zubin in this round, you finish relatively early, you're like, the job is done. <laughs> and so maybe I'd be prepping for the next F round during yeah. the two in R, two AR. I've done that before. I'll turn in, like to the two in and be like, do you need any help? And they'll be like, no. And I'll be like, all right, I'll get to work on the next round. That sort of thing. Did you all both do LD in high school? Yeah. Yeah, I did four years in LD. I did one PF tournament ever. I've never done high school policy. Was it, was it hard switching from LD to policy in college? For me. Mm. The, the biggest thing that it took a while to learn to switch was there's a lot of really subtle norms that you don't think about uh, that really clearly give away that you're an LD. It's kind of like, you know, have you ever heard about spies getting caught because of, like, cultural shibboleths and stuff? Like... The one that comes to mind because I saw this movie recently is Inglorious Bastards. You know that scene where he's like, I'll have three beers. Yeah. And the guy's like, you're an American because in German, Germany we do this. Mm -hmm. It's like that. There's a bunch of very random things. Like Raphael is like, K gives an order before the speech. It's like, all right, it'll be case, then the DA, then the K. Which is normal in LD because he's usually like an affirmative case. And policy, the norm is to flow each advantage on a separate sheet of paper. And so you give an order that's like advantage one, advantage two, K, yeah. DA. Um, a lot I'm of really subtle things like that that you don't think of. It took me a, quite a while to get acclimated to. Also, like getting used to a partner. Yeah. Uh, it was actually kind of easy for me, especially because uh, when I got to college, I was like, oh my God, there's so much prep time. Because in, in LD, you this, just do and how we do this is perhaps less true now because LD is more disclosure oriented. Right right. But in LD, yeah. like the, you like, take like three of your four minutes of prep to put together the one and see once you just heard the AF. And he had like 30 seconds of prep for the 2 NR. And so I was used to operating very little prep. And I got to college, and I was like, all right, we got our 1 NC together. We probably already prepped a bit of our 2 NC slash 1 NR before the round if we knew what was going on. And so we'll take no prep ever for the 1 NC, some prep for the 2 NC, and you have like six minutes of prep usually for the 2 NR, which is just a huge amount of prep for a speech for me. And so I was just like, oh, my God, what do I do all this prep? I don't need it, um, which was a nice transition for sure.
Ultimately, what we did was we just took nine and a half minutes to prep for my partner's one AR every round. And I'd just take 30 seconds to like get my thoughts straight on the two AR. Yeah, but partnership is good because like when I give this one AR, I'm inevitably going to drop something and Jacob will prompt me to remember to answer it. No, you're going to get it all, Lawrence. I have faith in you. Well, like, because I like prompted Jacob to like make some. I'm not sure we'll make any yeah. arguments that you need to answer. Yeah, I was about to say. Uh, this is literally just a China like containment versus the Thad good for deterrence debate that is every I think PFD. The CP endorsed the mother on you. Well, you just read the East from like Oklahoma LT. Oh. <laughs> oh. oh. Can I hear the CP? Yes. It was, it was awful. I was pretty, I was like terrible by first year policy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. We're yeah. engaging in like this work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. Like, yeah. Like, Engagement. Like, it was almost as if like yeah, 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 PF to policy. Um, oh. um, it wasn't quite that bad because I didn't, because I like went to camp and so like had a basic knowledge of like policy. The current was very, very limited. So. Are there camps for college students? For college students? There's a few. I I don't think it's nearly the norm that it is in high school, and it's pretty rare. Yeah, most of the college, yeah, good college debaters are teaching like camps. There's a few, like other The Loon, which is run by yeah, uh, well, by Jackie Massey. Yeah. <laughs> 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 uh, that was like a camp for college debaters, but there's only like two or three of them. Can you call the person CPA? Yeah, because I don't know. No, I know what they are. There's Oh, yeah, no, sorry, sorry, sorry. I know what they are. They do both full service that Jackie says now. You can see them if you want. This is basically what I said. I deleted the two. The speech docs are in the... The speech docs are in the Google Drive folder. Well, my speech can be so disorganized because yeah. I have it like mostly on my flow. But I'll just, no, that's I'll fine. Just so, so, like, the, the first term is like we just play pressure China, um, like after we deploy. After we deploy, we're like, the PF topic. Like we read okay. something. Okay. I think the plan text is just like China. U.S. should maintain that or something. I don't know what we said with the plan, but we're on the Thad good side. Not a possible term because the DA like gives you evidence. We think Thad is good. China hates that. After that, I'm not sure. Which means that you can cross apply. Yeah. They would security K, China container DA, and a condition on something other kind of plan. That's awesome. Uh, it's the... <coughs> well, conditions on, no, on pressuring NOCO. By the way, I saved that card in the Dropbox. Wait, so is the first thing. term argument that, like, if they say no, then, then term? But what if yeah. they say yes? Yeah, so our argument would, would be if there's a chance that the counter plan could just end up being the plan, that's sufficient to consider it the same thing. So, like, okay, if, I, if China right. says no, right, yeah, and they yeah, just yeah. refuse yeah. to pressure North Korea, then we maintain our BMDs, that's the yeah. app. Yeah. 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 Oh, we are. <laughs> we have a hundred They are, too, yeah. yeah. They're, they're, yeah. they're decently fast. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Put my computer on us. Yeah, I'm just coming back up. Yeah, or you can just send over. Matt's a lot faster. Okay. Like, well, but I'm going to be doing, like, yeah, you have to do, like, yeah. I just want to add, because it's pretty convenient. I don't go any... Like the place you lost so much time with, those cards are not at all high right down. No, they were so long. Yeah, we could so like, so so read like, so far. We could read so far. Oh, yeah. <laughs> fuck. Me. But you have access to like all of the kids' cards on this topic. Yeah, but the kids' cards on this topic aren't highlighted down. Because we paraphrase in PF. Oh, that's right. So we don't need to highlight that. That's fair. Right? So then we just like take these like policy back files and they are much faster than us and can read more. So it's just like so they don't need to highlight. I mean honestly you're not that slow. Yeah. Well we're not slow, but we're not the same speed as I usually do is just Okay, okay. Now okay, now we try to answer this China argument, which is I we sort of have back files, we'll see. Um for back files we can throw a very recent out. Oh fuck. Um I should read through all of our two C cards make sure I understand them. Um okay, wait. Have, like, Why'd you put the China DA in here and then like can the I? China um, I don't know. I think I just messed up. I wasn't paying attention. Yeah. Uh, which one's left? It should be a con. We are con, right? We, we don't he responds to like Gupta evidence by saying like no, like North Korea has the capability to nuclearize, but like, like, like Gupta evidence is about South Korea. Or, yeah, yeah, no, no, no. He responds so with Japan. Though. Though. <coughs> I, I think we're actually fine on case. I can do everything except for low doc. Also, he okay. reads no cards about Japan. Yeah, okay. I actually think like. Yeah. Like, all of them are about Korea. I'm just like, no, no, fuck it. The same Actually, thing I, like, have answers. I just need a lot of prep. Wait, so. that's such a good answer. Once everyone comes back in, I Do you know how much prep time you all have used? <laughs> uh, probably all 20 minutes. Yeah. 20, 21 minutes. Woo! <laughs> 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 I don't know. That, this is impossible. Yeah. Okay. I don't know how you can prep this. Well, it's, one it's one two people one. working, so that's 42 <laughs> man minutes. <laughs> 42 man minutes. That's just the same thing as, like, And he gets more time because the two is... It's true. Yeah, we're going to have, like, another 12 minutes once Matt starts speaking. So, like, when you're flowing... Well, I'll speak as soon as all the... Are all the kids back? Like... Yeah. Not everyone. We said 10.45, I think. So okay. Four more minutes. So so yeah, so 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 you have 25 minutes of prep. Text 
Oh my god. We'll take it. We need it. We're here prepping. And we're still here. I would love 25 minutes. I could actually put together an entire new doc. Well, you can start putting your one air together. I don't know. They're, they're well, they're gonna extend the K. Yeah. And they gotta extend the mechanic on the floor because they said it's not conditional. I have an extra um, column for the rebuttal. I'm assuming they're gonna do the same thing with the DA. Wait, this is so I'll write down what I want later. I don't want to cheat, steal prep, you know? Well, they're prepping. Just, yeah. I kind of want to decide. Yeah, you guys, yo, you guys should prep. Like, yeah. The cards beyond yeah, positive be piece, other stuff below that, is probably the cards you want to read on the K. Yeah. I probably only want to read like one or two cards. I think I'm just gonna go for analytics. We're missing this any good. Alright. Yep. In that case, probably the real thing. Oh, yeah, well, the carpet, like, um, Wait, Andy, or other countries. I mean, especially if we just uh, go for this bad. scenario, like, we def we have no choice but to go for that. Yep. <laughs> Wait, Australia, Australia would pick up the slack? That's such a good thing. Like, states are kind of stupid. States are kind of stupid. I assume they do five for the most important. Yep. No, they have to do five for the most important. There's no way they break the quarters. Wait, wait, what is it? How? Yeah, I just retagged it. But you'll break like teams that are like, three down. Like, 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 you'll break teams with a losing like, record. <laughs> oh, there's, 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 there's 21 teams. Oh, there's six prelims? So then you'll break 3-3. Three oh, wait, there's 21 teams. You break the quarters with six prelims, you'll break 3-3. Oh, yeah, there's 42 teams. Well, that's because the math is Oh, no, 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 if it's 21, then they'll probably okay. break two partial quarters. Fuck, this new thing is gonna be hard. Do we read this chart? I guess they'll just, they'll just break all three. Do we read this one? We read the one above it. Okay, that one's the better one. I should have read that one. Or they'll break the less. I read the one that's just like, in general, China doesn't give a shit about what we're doing in East Asia. Yeah, and that one's because they have a different bad joke. I read the one that's just like, in general, China doesn't give a shit about what we're doing in East Asia. And that one's because they have a bit bad So, if there's one card to read on the DA, it's probably that one. Uh, yeah. Jacob, where do you read that, like, Japan would nuclearize? Uh, that was in the 1AC. Yeah, no, uh, no, no, no. If I knew what the F was, I would oh, tell yeah, yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. I was just wondering. Control oh, of Japan and advantage too. Like okay. <coughs> I'm pretty sure he's, yeah. There's like four or five cards that talk about Japanese nuclearization in the F. Yeah. Um, yeah, the first card, the second card, the third oh, I'm card. So you're doing those cross applications in the 2AC on the proliferation argument. Well, the cards were in the Pearl of Advantage. The first four cards on the Pearl of Advantage right, yeah, yeah. are all okay, about so Japan. No, the first five okay, cards are about Japan. Well, it's partly about Japan. Alright, this is going to be more than enough to read. I think I'll... I'll be uh, what was the... Right. So you mixed in two early articles on the Pearl of Advantage, um, or were they? Just <laughs> Pearl of... Oh, oh, Missile Pearl of... Wait, wait, Pearl what's the China Rails Korea? Uh, oh. Better relations with China directly trades off with better relations with Korea. So if we improve relations with China. So, yeah, so we're like, if we, don't be good to China, because that will make Korea sad, and we need to make Korea happy. Okay. Don't be good to, so if we make China mad, it makes Korea... Okay, okay. Yeah, I, Korea likes it when we piss off China, because it shows we're more committed to them than we are to China. And y'all are like, let's pacify China okay, by not having bad. And we're like, no, let's poke at China. <laughs> Korea likes that. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so it was Missile Prolif and then the Alliance of Stuff, which was <gasps> the card's oh, name I forget. Okay. Yeah, and then the book second bear was both card. Yeah. You're just a little bit more clear, so sometimes hard to follow. Rip. <laughs> yeah, I, my, my voice feels really scratchy. Okay, um, I assume your 25 minutes of prep has expired. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. So, what is the uh, order? Uh, it's gonna go, I'll go A in a case, okay. then the CP, yeah. and the China DA. It's gonna be a little disorganized. Let's take this. Right. And how long, this speech is nine minutes? Nine. Nine minutes right. long. And the rest will be Your six. Your timer goes <coughs> to sleep. My timer sucks. No, oh, my sleep. phone goes to sleep. That. Okay. Seven. What? Yeah, uh, yeah, or does someone else have a timer? Oh, uh, it's fine, it's fine. I'll just, it's fine. I'll be good. Um, is just, it on the website? You wanna keep it away, yeah, um, I'll oh, just keep tapping it. Oh, yeah. Did you yeah, put it in the... Yeah, yeah. Alright, it's also at 5%. That's fine. Is it in the drive? No. Oh, yeah, yeah. Let me move it. Um, I just created something called Speech Doc. It's a Google Doc. Isn't that great? Oh, oh no, oh. it's not. Oh. I don't have her beef. <laughs> oh, my That's God. That's, like, half the reason I had to take oh, some no. It takes, like, a minute to copy and paste a card. Like, it's oh, more wow. painful to us than it is to you. Oh, yeah. That's you, fair. No, I don't think you understand how much Jacob, uh... I don't know how I could be able to... Matt, do you want countdown so. accounts? Oh, you have a timer on your computer? Yeah, just put it in the corner. Yeah, yeah, just put it in the corner. You just pull up onlinestopwatch.com. Nice, I like that. <laughs> yep. That's smart. All right. Um, let's see. Speech doc. Move this to... Another be built-in benefit of verbatim is it has its own timer. Does it really? Oh, yeah, yeah. Pull it out. yeah, check this out. How do I pull up its timer? 
Uh, you have a Mac? You, oh, you do. I don't think it's on. Is it it's, not on the it's Mac? It's not easily accessible on Mac. I'm okay, yeah. So you got to have a PC. Yeah, let me hand out. It's really nice because it stays ab above whatever else you're doing right now. Right, yeah. So you click on another document, it doesn't disappear. Yeah. It's a quarters. Breaking the quarters? Yeah. Okay. I don't think we'd have time for more than that, will we? Alright. Is everyone yeah. ready? SWAT just barely with I guess we have to. Um, do you mind saving the reference next? I, yeah. Wait. Uh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just, I'm very nitpicky about formatting. Alright, is everyone good? Oh wait, though. One sec, he's just got to save oh, the reference. It like, looks okay. <laughs> well, my formatting? It looks right, like it's a Google Doc, so I just like put in like random. I don't it's know. what the doc looks like when you copy and paste it into the body of the email, and then take it back out of the body of the email and put it in an actual Word document. And all right, saved like as two and C in there. Most of the stuff is like notes I randomly jotted down in my flow, so we'll see how this goes. Okay. Um, well, we had to wait so because there was a bed check. Yeah, it's right here. I see. So I, I got like 25 forth. minutes of prep, and it's still gonna be bad. <laughs> all right. Okay. I can go back and forth. Okay, cool. I'm good whenever y'all are. All right, case <laughs> CPDA. Cool. Start on the case, the first thing they say is the star evidence and the board evidence group, both of these, none of them have, or, they don't ever prove the eternal link between more missile tests and war, they just say that like war is more likely because of missile tests, but none of the cards warrant that, they talk specifically about like state collapse and like South Korean aggression, which none of us has to do with like how much missile test North Korea is, is doing, which means the war is like not inevitable in the status quo. Then they say that like um, all the deterrence breaks down, their key card to this is the Snyder card, it's really bad, it says that Trump provides a pretext when they like, uh, or they provide, uh, thad, uh, removing that provides a pretext, pretext to remove the troops, it did not say that Trump will actually remove the troops. If anything, it's a double bind because either Trump wants to remove the troops, in which case he'll find another political pretext, or he doesn't want to remove the troops, in which case he like he wouldn't do any in the world. And second, we would say like, why hasn't Trump done it yet? Like, there's been tons of other dangers for the troops besides that, and we haven't had that in the status quo. And they say that North Korea is such a threat, so clearly this can happen. Like, or this should have already happened if it was going to happen. And then they say that like this uh, that uh, our our evidence deep, linked demons on the ballistic missile defense is not about like it's about squirrely and <coughs> being that is uniquely better. The problem is like the step evidence a answers it that he doesn't say at the top because it says fundamentally like the technology is just not there. They're just chasing, like, a pipe dream. There is no reason why, like, we can ever develop a, like, submission to BMD. That, that, that might be, like, a little bit better, but it's never actually gonna work. Uh, especially, like, they read evidence from Klinger, which says that, like, tests are really effective. The problem is but 12 says tests have been rigged. It decoys and countermeasures prove on reliability. The latest test of missile offense failed on these are big tests. Intercept no both teams are trying to timing of the trajectory of the missile. A missile has no decoys. There's no such luxuries in the real world where adversaries launch surprise attacks and countermeasures and decoys. And on the few occasions, the MDA has a countermeasures in these carefully rigged tests have never succeeded. And they don't answer the Burns test cars, which says that specifically, like, the mushroom cloud from war would prevent that from ever working, which means if we win this, A, it means there's no pull-up because the military experts know that, know that Trump, uh, or the military experts know that, like, Thad doesn't act, or these things don't actually work, it's just because the military industrial complex is, like, hyping up this, uh, threat, and second, like, we would say that, like, it also means that there's no prolif because South Korea doesn't actually care whether or not we deploy Thad if they know it doesn't work. Um, okay, then on to prolif. Okay, first, they say it's not about, they say, like, uh, Lloyd Note 13 is not about BMD. Yes, it is. It says BMD undermines the nuclear umbrella because it expands, like, the regular conventional deterrent umbrella, which, like, overstretches, like, our idea of, of deterrence. It specifically says that this actually makes us more less likely for countries to view the nuclear commitment as credible because they're trying to, like, trade off with BMD. Then, they say that, like, uh, our argument's not just about South Korea. Japan will, like, nuclearize. But first, their only evidence about Japan nuclearizing links through South Korea nuclearizing first. Second, we said there's already BMD in Japan, and there's already a fat system in Japan, so, like, clearly it should have already solved that their argument was true. And, which means you can also extend the Gupta 13 card clearly, which gives you five independent warrants by South Korea would never nuclearize. But then additional limits on the Japan proliferation. Uh, it would never happen under the worst conditions even. Kulaki 15. Uh, the study found that no imaginable scenario which will worsen developed or which were, where decision developed nuclear weapons between Japan national security interest in a worst case scenario positing a breakup US-Japan alliance and the opposite in the operation region and an inclination of various countries to go nuclear in such a case it's questionable whether there's any value to trading nations to secure its survival with nuclear weapons it would be more like to undermine the survival changes of US weapons policy should not raise fears that Japan might respond by starting a nuclear weapons program and no impact even if prolif happens multiple factors prevent use of Polsky set 14 Taylor proliferation would not likely be destabilizing Japan South Korea Australia Taiwan a strong democracy there are stable political regimes accountable to democratic institutions if elite control of the military is strong and they don't have a history of lobbing missiles at each other. They are risk averse from responsible nuclear weapons. Stay the waters of the Pacific will stay calm. And that deployment is entirely irrelevant to South Korea, which delinks both their deterrence argument and uh, like about the global uh, 
uh, security umbrella and about their prolif argument. Shapiro, 16. More than 28,000 American soldiers here as an army in a base in South Korea. No fewer than 28,000 uh, American soldiers have been staging that from 1951. The deployment of the South Korea would not function as a turn to attack North Korea, China, nor would it guarantee U.S. response to such attraction would materialize. The United States has enough troops and equipment based in South Korea to serve that purpose. Furthermore, Song, uh, South Korea's defense system currently has the ability to deflect political attacks from Pyongyang and the fact system targets North Korea's more advanced missile, but Seoul is more friendly concerned with the North Korean art artillery rockets or large scale attacks than the short range missiles that would overwhelm the system it already has in place. Whether or not the U.S. deploys that is immaterial to them. Uh, okay, now go to the CP. The first thing they say is that like a star of it, it shows that China is, is already pressuring the status quo. It's not working. We argue that that's like purely correlative. China's pressure is in response to the growing threat crisis. It's not causing it. And second, we say China isn't pressuring their mouth. They just have like coal sanctions, but they haven't fully sanctioned North Korea, which means that is like we still have to uh, pressure them more to get them to solve. Then they say a bunch of problems. They say first, like do both. There's a chance that China says no. We said that China says yes, which means, and this card from Pollock was cleanly conceded, which means that they can't just permit and say like we can do both because we're going to say China's going to say yes, which means this clearly trades off with the plan. If you on the counter plan. There's no then risk they, of China saying no. Yeah, there's no risk of China saying no. Then they say that we should do the plan and then, like, use Trump as the carrot. The problem is, first, they can't be up that we impeach Trump, and China knows that. It means China, like, won't trust that that we impeach Trump. It's really silly. Ch like, China's more likely to have tread. And we've sent cards that say that is the key reason that's going to get them to cooperate, which means they're not answering, like, the specific arguments about that. They have no evidence that Trump would be, like, a better bargaining chip for China. Then they read you that Freeman 17, that North Korea says no. A bunch of problems, or two, two cards in response. Pause, yeah. pause for one second. The DA specifically indicates why China dislikes. Thad so much. So yeah, yeah. Any, the like, the, 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 the that is unique. And then, uh, okay, Chinese pressure solves the North Korean threat. Lee 16. The United States is going to need to urge China to pressure North Korea to halt this missile and nuclear weapons program. China were indeed to impose sanctions on North Korea. More than need to be seen some improvement in China. Maybe it'll only help to convince North Korea to return to the bargaining table. And China has sufficient leverage to solve Lee again 16 differently. China is the only country in the world that has effective channels of communication with North Korea. Pyongyang's single political security and economic dependence on China has increased in recent years at the face of international sanctions, the supply of energy, and food. China has served as a lifeline to North Korea. Uh, and Lee, uh, Chinese leadership, China has succeeded and playing a role in the SPT as well as communicating support with Korea. I believe that China's leadership will indispensable in the immediate future. Can provide this first of all by getting North Korea to then hold nuclear weapons program. China will exercise its leadership to reduce the nuclear threat in this region and beyond. Uh, what's the time? Uh, Three thirty minutes. Okay, cool. Then they say that like Pollock concedes is happening in the status quo. We would say that like China is not doing enough clearly, and uh, that is uniquely what's going to cause them to do it more. The military missile defense is the key issue that will motivate China to apply further pressure on North Korea to nuclear. It's chain sixteen. That's in China's neighborhood will give the U.S. the ability to shoot down North Korean missiles to help down knock down Chinese ones. Beijing is beginning to reconsider its refusal to apply pressure to Pyongyang. Although China is still trying to reflect the responsibility, American policy have found the key to bringing Beijing around. And then they say it doesn't solve the China DA, but the CP does solve the China DA. Modernization and bold China ensures miscalculation. Only the AF can solve Ch or the NEC can solve. Uh, change 13. Chinese are going to undermine crisis stability and heighten the risk of exhalation. Chinese leader might be more bold in conventional crisis with the U.S. otherwise than they would be. Uh, disagreements about what flashpoints to Taiwan, Sprawley, and the uh, South China Sea and Sengoku Dayu, uh, Dayu Islands in East China Sea are possible scenarios for nuclear creation. China could avoid to gain greater leverage and the potential use of Chinese missile forces is aimed at influencing an adversary, raising the possibility of mis miscalculation, triggering escalation. Uh, but trying to trump Chinese nuclear moderation through a large scale buildup of U.S. missile defense capability from constantly counterproductive, a principal driver of Chinese nuclear calculation is a concern that a larger and more complex U.S. missile defense system could undermine the vitality of uh, viability of Chinese strategic deterrent, consequently limiting middle systems is intended to protect the U.S. homeland and develop a partner dealing for much smaller with threat North Korea could, uh, poses to help to avoid presenting a larger increase in Chinese nuclear capability, so it solves the DA. But then go to the DA first, they say that's an all-cause, but specifically that is what's causing it. In fact, that is unique. They don't answer the warrant that Zhang gives you about BMD giving us both an offensive and defensive advantage, so China revises NFU to gain offensive advantage. Jae Hong 17. China views that system as a threat. Uh, as a small China is viewing a wide range of events in military technology more if the U.S. missile defense system is established in the region. China believes that is inevitable to rise. It's a good thing nuclear strategy of NFU. And then they say that, like, uh, oh, then uh, then they say that we need to uh, 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 contain China. They say this is general presence. Like, you can still have general presence and just, not, like, not have BMD. None of their cards say BMD is key to containment. Then they say Chinese rise is inevitable. Like, their rise is inevitable. Like, them going to war with their neighbors and having an aggressive nuclear first pol or NFU policy is not inevitable. Then, um, pivot and alliances will ensure recent history proofs. We're this card because it analyzes empirics. Ross 12. Even the United States limited its response to Chinese nationalist diplomacy. Chinese leaders still have to be placed, but those steps were within the U.S. or were necessary for U.S. security when Washington got directly involved in China's sovereignty. Beijing predictably saw the support from the past U.S. policy. The gracious extension isn't threatening. China has punched, uh, pushed back against the pivot with concrete policy rather than the merely aggressive rhetoric it has pulled in the past. China has given up all its trust to use its leverage over North Korea to get it to abandon its nuclear program. The plan has also put pr China, uh, pressure on China's neighbors that uh, boosted their defense cooperation with the United States. Chinese patrol ships harassed the Vietnamese uh, seismic boat. Similarly, China's maritime confrontation earlier this year with the Philippines at the contest at Scarborough Shoal represent ba 
it that suggests that Beijing will push back and the PLA formed a new military garrison with defending the country's territorial plans of the Charles Tennessee. All of these issues are the involvement of mission paper has not contributed to stability in Asia and the United States risk getting involved in the hostilities over strategically irrelevant and economically marginal islands. The impact of the China uh, the China containment evidence that they read on the DA is specific to like China conventional war in the region, but our evidence specifically says that any war and any risk of war in result of China will lead to nuclear wars. We outweigh on magnitude in every single instance. That's true, the, the like nuclear war stuff is worse. And then they say like the free work that it trades off with uh, South Korean relations. The problem is there's no proof that they reach the bright line of like actually collapsing South Korean relations to the point where they talk about it in the terms because they just read you that like South Korean relations get like a little worse when they piss off China, like how much worse they can't actually quantify or like pr prove the extent of which it happens to trigger their impacts. And then they say that like there's a Chinese aggression in the status quo. I, I would say that Chinese aggression is not causing war in the status quo, but they don't answer the rate war to the Fray 15 card that says if they revise their NFU policy, it would cause war because other countries would perceive them as like uh, willing to use their nuclear weapons would cause retaliation. Otherwise, right now they like don't don't actually see that as much of a threat, which means it doesn't cause uh, retaliation and all these flashpoints. It doesn't cause uh, the war. Fray Field indicates that, that, that conventional war also goes nuclear. Yeah. Right? Also, yeah. Uh, that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> also, yeah. That. That, yeah. The United States already does not have an NFU policy. If lack of an NFU policy causes war, why hasn't that already been sufficient to trigger U.S.-China war? No, it's not U.S.-China war. It's China war with its allies or with their adversaries in the region. So China attacks Japan, who can't buy back. How does that escalate to a global war? So I would say that like if uh, if China and Japan like got into confrontations over like some sort of islands, right? And China has like no NFU policy. Japan fears that it could get annihilated before. Uh, it like attacks China, so, so it, they, it sounds like it would right? deter conflict. Oh, but I have a new question. Your Ross right. evidence, it would, it would like a your Uzi, Ross evidence seems to be about just right. about every conflict the U.S. has with China except for that. It says that it doesn't like us pushing into sovereignty disputes in places like the SCS. Yeah. It says it doesn't like it just, it our just, pivot to Asia, our interfering with Chinese Vietnamese relations. If all of those have already pissed off China, this seems to prove that that isn't key. This card is uh, correct. I would say, I would say that the argument is not about pissing off China. The argument is that specifically that that gives the U.S. both an offensive and defensive advantage, which means that like in both scenarios, like when How, they have that, China has to gain an offensive advantage by uh, an offensive advantage. US you just read evidence on the policy. case literally a few minutes before we read this card that says we have twenty-eight thousand troops stationed yeah. a few miles from Beijing in Korea. Why isn't that an offensive advantage no, that no, makes no, it that inevitable? The, that provides the defensive advantage. Which they don't currently have. Okay, so, so your argument China is 28,000 troops in Korea, 50,000 troops in Japan. Those are only for offensive purposes and could not be possibly used for defense. Uh, the troops in like Korea are not going to be defensive purchases from like a Chinese strike against the U.S., for example. Okay, like, so your argument is China needs the ability to strike the U.S., but you also said on the case that we already have BMD in places like Japan. Why isn't that sufficient? Because the BMD doesn't solve China striking the United States. Yeah, no, like, like China... China, okay, well, let me rephrase the question. That, that why is it a good thing that China has the capacity to first strike the United States unprovoked? Because they have a no first strike doctrine, so they're not going to do it. Yeah, they wouldn't do it with it with the NFU policy. But if so if they, if they already have an NFU policy, policy why, why do they need the ability to first strike the United States? Wait, sorry, say that one more time. If they already have an NFU policy, why do they need no, they or want the ability to first strike? Like they don't, uh, they don't need it right now because they like have the defensive advantage. Yeah, they have the ability. If the U.S. strikes China, then China has the ability to strike back. Then they fear that the U.S. could prompt the first strike. But we already have back. missile defense in the United States. But the, the missile defense doesn't solve a Chinese strike on the United States. Yeah, it can't. And specifically, right? like, like the FAT radar doesn't. looks way further in China than the other missile defense systems, uh, so they can detect the. So it's the, with the, the radar Chinese abilities. Strike. It's yeah, that's part things. of it. Like I, I'd say, they can detect the Chinese strike way earlier, which gives them more time to respond. Which All right, I have another question. On the case, you've read a piece of evidence that says that undermines the credibility of our nuclear umbrella. Yeah. Uh, what evidence or what reason do you have to think that the nuclear umbrella is important or key to deterrence? No, the nuclear umbrella is, is key to preventing. Like, is key to yeah, yeah. No, the nuclear umbrella is key to preventing, uh, like Japan and uh, Allied nuclear prolif. Why? Like that. That's isn't that like most of your case? That just like literally like the fact that the U.S. Oh, is like well, our evidence up. is about conventional deterrence, things like that, things like North Korea, not North Korea, South Korea, knowing that if a missile were launched, we would shoot it down for them, meaning they don't need nuclear deterrence. What evidence says nuclear deterrence is credible? I mean, I can read you evidence. We, I can zoom in, can read you evidence. In the that sounds like a good idea, because as of the uh, one AC, we're the only ones with evidence to the question that says nuclear deterrence is insufficient because nobody trusts it. Alright, we'll read that. Okay. Let's see, sounds like you got something to do. Yep, apparently. Uh, we'll take. Well, I guess. Do you, do well, how much prep were we assuming yeah, that was? I don't, I don't know. I don't know. We'll just run the time. <laughs> I'm like, actually, Let's see. well, okay, yeah. it don't matter. I will, we'll, whatever. Do you, do you want the card that was like, like yeah. both anyways? Yeah, you can keep one. We'll see. Um, well, we'll for now, assume that we don't. <clears throat>
concealed conditions are an issue. This is true. Also, then it should be the pressure the slower. But already pressure the pressure more. Yeah. No explanation of what that means, what it looks like, how it falls. Um. One thing to point out really that's relevant to that is there were already like five rounds of six party talks, which China was one of the six parties, which seems to deny the efficacy of Chinese diplomacy solving. Okay. Like, no, this time's <coughs> different. Uh, I'm uploading my doc right now. Okay, wait, 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 wait. <coughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't yeah. want to contest Chinese yeah. request, yeah. but yeah. do we want to extend the perm to the counter plan or any of the perms really? I don't think so, but I'll take your request. Yeah, we don't need that. I don't really think so either. Anything that you missed, Matt? I don't think there's anything. Oh, thanks, but, um, but we can the K. Is there a problem? Yeah, to the yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, yes, but I so. assume the one in R has a chance to recover and answer that. We'll see. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> oh, here we go. Do you want this card? Nuclear umbrella cells? Yeah. Let's read this. How do I... This is going to be some fun way for me to pull that up. Okay, really, I'll put it... Um, Put it, put, put it at the top in. of my speech talk. Yeah. And I'll just open it up. And you could literally start on it. Read it at the bottom of the <coughs> Read it on their page. Why is this not open? We'll copy and paste. Uh, do you, you use shift? Copy and paste? Yeah. No, but now I just copied the whole document. Can you just read this off my computer? Just yeah, read it yeah, off my yeah. computer, dude. Okay, that's, okay. that's easier. My computer is like... We'll really? send you the card after this. Is that okay? <coughs> yes. uh, oh, like well, you want to send it now? Okay, I'll try. It it, my computer like won't highlight it. Mm. It like it's are you are you planning on like highlighting it during the speech? No, 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 no like it won't like select it, so I can't copy and paste it. Interesting. There we go. And Ruben figured it out. Ruben's smart. Um, it's at the top of his. Yeah, oh, it's not. It's a speech doc. Speech doc. So it's at the top of his speech doc. Cool. Oh, that's not command. Oh, it's alt key. Alt key. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Here, I'll do it. It's that, that tab. Alt-C. Alt-C, yeah. Alt-C and then Alt-C. Cool. Okay. Next. Um, and then the other, the rest of the one in our is the thing. You want to read one other one? Most of them are together, yeah. Okay. 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 It goes... Where do you want me to read this? Um, read it on the uh, prolif arc. Yeah. Okay, so it goes the prolif advantage, um, the CP, no, the prolif advantage, the critique. Okay. Cool. You mind saving the duck in the Dropbox? Yeah, let me do that. Thank you much. And you have this other card, right? That uh, uh, it's giving I have no idea. Did you, did you save it as the 2NR? The, the 2NR is everything except for the one card, the song one card, at the top of yeah, that speech doc. It's in, it's in the speech doc from the 2NC. From the 2NC. Okay, the card you're reading is from the 2NC? Yeah. Which card is it? Oh, oh you have it's it on the right? It's at the top of the... The song the, one. The song one card. It's, the very top. it's not going to be in there. He just copied it. I just copied and pasted it in there. Oh, you redone it's it? It's going to be in the Google Doc. How do we access? Uh, okay. <laughs> because oh, Matt's okay. computer is. I, sorry, oh, computer I, was, I assumed it was like Song <laughs> in 2001. That oh, no. no, song, no, no. One. I song, song, song 11. One His name is Song 111. Yeah. yeah. Well, the name's not 11. Yeah, cool. Okay. I'm good. Jacob, I'm going to use your timer, okay? So this thing? Yeah. No, I'm just, I'm just going to look at it. You, you, don't need to, you don't need to move anything. Um, yeah. CP? No, Prolif or, or Prolif and yeah. Critique. On the proliferation argument, Song 1, 2011, pro, like, nuclear umbrella assaults. South Korea is a firmly adhered to non-nuclear weapon policy since the first announced the geostrategic, geostrategic con uh, con circumstances provide for a strong rationale for the international community to be suspicious of sincerity of South Korea's non-nuclear policy. The North Korean nuclear crisis has actually increased the authenticity of South Korea's non-nuclear weapon policy. South Korean government has shown no hint of jading the current policy. Emotional public voices of the ROK is responding kind. It has been called by sensible, or sensible and mature opinions to follow the international bond proliferation norms. In a responsible manner, Obama's reducing role will not agitate the results of the South Korean current policy. Lawrence, stop highlighting my doc. South Korea's commitment is only on par with the commitment to the alliance. South Korea is not careless enough to 
behave in a way that uh, its allies object to. Suspicious of South Korea's non-nuclear weapons policies, outdated in future. The Alliance Security's assurance to the U.S. allies promises that as an alliance partner under the U.S. nuclear umbrella, it will not develop, neither develop nor possess nuclear weapons as long as extended nuclear deterrence is provided. Then the critique, couple answers to the intern that they, or like the theory shell that they basically read on it. Counter to the notion of the team that engages in methodology that promotes the whole, most holistic debate and confirms the epistemology and topic education. They read the theory shell advocating to the exclusive discussion of topic literature. That's a violation. See how the standards debate is just as much about what you say, what you say, and about the arguments that you make. The topic defined, the topic debate confines our ability to engage in discussions that widen our worldview. Do you prefer uh, D? Prefer a counter interpretation because it allows for a more holistic development of the debate. They read the standards of clash and depth that we argue that the development of the debate on the methodological level and on the topic level is both a, a, like able for us to be engaged in. Don't just buy this like one shot kill in the theory about like because we read an argument about the methodology because our methodology and forms the way that we debate in the entire rest of the round. Then, discourse creates reality with Gregor 2003. Institutions that discourse shape us, discourse that articulates ideological interests, social foundations, and movements are within our practices and beliefs. We inevitably discover how we and why these practices and beliefs are reproduced and resisted and transformed. We have ethical obligation to practice and be most honest and mature in something that is possible to be transparent through the integrity and be a critical analysis of ours and others' language discourses, create the representations of how things have, are and have been and the imaginations of representations of how things might or could be. Cut that card there. Then, on to the perms and reasons of the critiques, a couple problems here. One, the perm is mutually exclusive with the app. They cannot perm and do both. Like, it's literally just like it endorses like, the opposite methodology of the app. You can't endorse the methodology and then engage in the action. You can't do that. But second, the perm is not possible because the second perm is not possible because the A, A it's extra topical about like, oh, we'll just like do the app in all other instances. They can't argue for that. But B, the ultimate to engage in a better methodology, and I can tell that it is wrong to read two contradictory methodologies before our side of the debate because we are consistent in our methodology debate in the way that we are articulate. <laughs> We're not. That's a good well, fine. <laughs> then finally, the double line doesn't matter because the ultimate is about debating a methodology and engaging in a debate in our flawed system of methodology it doesn't go to our better offense and more, it creates a more equitable debate. Prefer a methodology because we realize that we don't need to solve all, all causes as long as we indicate that our methodology is a better way for evaluating the debate treated on the epistemological level, not just the, uh, like, the rest of the round, the, the rest of the level. Um, uh, oriental <coughs> critique. You can focus on a new floor, you can extend the first uh, critique. The first card that we're reading, the, uh, like the security critique, it gives the same link to the Orientalism critique. I'm just going to extend the first card there because it says that the conception of North Korea that they concede in their own, like it, because they don't never respond to the, the conception of North Korea as a irrational actor or as a mad actor, leads to the Western imperialism of impositions of ideals onto the East. That's critical because the affirmative problem is the idea that the West is the center of knowledge production. They focus on science and objectivity to perpetuate a focus on East or European intellectualism. Their Snyder evidence, ICG evidence, and the Economist evidence all give links to this argument. The Economist evidence specifically flows to our side on the critique because it says the reason why the end, like the reason why the NPT fails in the status quo or fails as a Result of any sort of break in the chain of Eastern countries not or nuclearizing is a result of the fact that the uh, like NPT is a product of Western norms and none of the Eastern countries like that. The Carsonia, the Carsonia twelve. We can see the parallels between the economic dominance and the state of science in countries of the East, intellectual imperialism, the domination of one way of thinking functions like the economic imperialism, finished products like we're exported back to the colonies, similar mechanism now we're saying the intellectual imperialism, the data from the region are collected and subsequently processed and manufactured in England from books and articles, and articles finally sold here. The researchers from the East then be thus became a source of information and benevolent theories for today's. Their role is, or is reduced, or their role is reduced in the transmission of data. There is a change in the perception of image of science. The captain mind is a provincial and sense that it is unfair to uh, function independently in the case of social studies and is unable to develop and create new theories without constantly looking up to the West. The, the Decline of native intellectual or intellectual tradition puts scientists in a vacuum from which their escape seems to be flowing to the European thought. Impact. Trying to fix the East is grounded in the paternalistic or Orientalism that all their arguments are on shaky epidemi epidemiological ground and legitimizes endless finance. The CP endorses a methodology of working with the East rather than against our counter. The CP is a link into the solvency for the critique. We don't need to read it all because the CP, CP engages us withdrawing from the region of Asia and then engaging in cooperation with the East rather than counter and anti to the East. Uh, this is... I don't have the... Um, uh, and then 2007. Western knowledge and representations of non-Western world are either innocent or non-based in some pre-existing reality, but implicated in the West Wilson power and the imperial investors, the image of scientific and of apolitical disinterest and knowledge seeking. Though everyone is subjected to reasonable interpretations and practices, the impact differs according to the existing power relations. It is only with modern European imperialism the capacity to convert these representations into truth in the systematic and mass scale emerge. Production of the knowledge about the other uh, through representation goes hand in hand with the construction and articulation and the affirmation of the differences between the self and other. This literally solves back for the economist in, in, or argument in their case because it solves back for the reason why the NPT doctrine which will fail, in which means we solve for their prolif argument through our endorsement of this better methodology. Production of knowledge about, or, uh, I read that already. The, under, the underlying different strategies about Western representation, stereotyping the uh, served imperialism in both representations at psychic levels, supporting the parental domination and acting as like, a perpetual blinder, protecting the colonizers or colonizers from discomforting the conscious or either poverty or guilt, imaginative practices through the Western imperial, or through the imperialist, came to represent the other to be interrogated through various strategies for representation involved. 
Uh, oh, I have time to read the attack right. Though observation and examination and interpretations are in, uh, objects are differentiated, categorized, and identified, they are made, ready to be made, acted upon. Objectification, fixing its sense, is of, of the gaze, goes hand in hand with the subjugation and the gaze of the surveillance of the productive identity of through the gaze. To know its pre prelude and possess, especially as, as a result of the huge asymmetry power. Answer the infinite causes to war argument. Uh, they read this argument about how this is an infinite cause of war. Like, first off, we argue that A, our methodology solves back for this because we check back against at least one cause of war, which means you automatically default to our side of the resolution because at least we're attempting to solve back for one root cause of war in the situations. But B, our own orientalism critique says that you would actually not buy that there's infinite causes of war because that's just attributing Western values of the way that we act to the East by saying, like, oh yeah, of course they're going to engage in war because they don't engage in the rationality that we have in our world, but, like, as the West. And Could why does an extinction that way? Extinction doesn't outweigh because the critique solves back for either extinction or it endorses a methodology that allows us to be like solve for this, right? Um, that's um, probably not a good answer. But, yeah, whatever. Uh, we had uh, seven forty, I think. Okay. No, we had we had eight. Yeah. Eight oh three. Yeah. I'll take that now. Uh, Is it worth taking privilege? I would think I'm the advantage, but not that the privilege proper, but they still continue the alliance scenario, which is separate. Yeah. yeah. What is alliance to solve? Extinction, that's B-I-W with 13. What, well, which? Looks 13. Well, I mean, but how? What does it prevent? Uh, I'll tell you in a second. You're assuming I know what our F says, Lawrence. That yeah, I think I have assumption. enough time to jump through the code with scenario as well. If you want to. Yeah. Um, and, and if the 2 AR needs to kick it, that's fine. <laughs> I just need to spend some time on the DA. If there's anything you want on the DA specifically, shit. that's... We're gonna mostly go for the. Like we're mostly gonna go for the. Zoom in, yeah. Our methodology is consistent. You know, you have to get the overview. Which, like, which stuff should we go for in the DA? Oh, shit. On the DA. That's not like. That's just an out. Yeah, I would say more likely yeah. go yeah. for the Chinese because I, like I, like I, like 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 I think their link explanation of why that is key is pretty good. Especially since I respond to the theory. Yeah. It's an extension of the theory. It's not even a theory. Yeah. The two things are good. I don't know the DA is like. Right, um, the alt causes stuff I think is pretty strong. I mean, I'll just read that anyway. Because I just suggest it's inevitable. Um, do you want to read the super bad section? Not like Joan Hill super bad, like super, Hill super bad. Yeah, if you want to write out the explanations for the, the, the terms, that'd be great. Yeah, sure. That's the comp. Did, did you read the E relation yeah, scenario? No, that's the one I was talking about. Okay, I'll label oh, super yeah, bad in the I will put that in there. Yeah, okay, cool. <laughs> you just want to type out the first two? Actually, yes. I'm yes. not the hardest for that one. I probably still got no. towards the end, but yeah, no, you did. Actually, that was fantastic. Stuff I have will be in the file called yeah, AT Japan BMD. Cool. That was a card for advantage too if you wanted to read it. It's probably, uh, I might, it's pretty sure. Yeah. So you're just going for the terms oh, and trying to yeah, get yeah, no, you can say so no, you can say you're like engaging about methodology. Oh, oh, on the oh. DA? Yeah. yeah that's because I'm going to tap those two things you up. Can read oh, yeah. Yeah. One, I don't know why. advantage one. I remember yeah. distress. Yeah, 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 yeah. We'll see, we'll see if we're attacking. And this is the regime stability stuff about... Yeah. Those are separate from constructing creative as irrational, which means the cave is in there those links. And it's the miscalculation. So, like... No, that's the links that are saying. Maybe it's not saying. Yeah, you got to extend off a name, so I had no idea. I know. I was so confused. I totally forgot that his name is Smith. Well, yeah, yeah. Well, I only extended one card in there.
Explanation's typed up in there. Their raw evidence is about everything but that, which proves if it's true is inevitable. <laughs> kind of obviously, since it's in 2012. Yeah. Uh, did you save it in there? Uh, I saved the explanation of the two impact changes. And, yeah. Oh, you don't have it? Uh, Jacob, save changes. There we go. There we go. Perfect. Uh, we'll just put this in my dock. You can stop for us. All right. 145. I'll just pretend we have like a minute for my speed or something. Whatever works. Yeah, we'll do we'll do one minute. Yeah, we'll do one. Okay. I don't have any I can't really talk anyway, so I'm gonna have to do it with my computer. Good things you get way more time because you're not spending time fumbling with your computer. Yeah. Do you want this? Or is this really nice for you? Did I finish my water? Or is this your water? No, no, that's mine. Yours, yeah. This is you mine. Can make me yours. You drink it like three times a speech. Oh yeah, that's true. Okay. Um. Doc's in the drive. The order is. Oh, this is <coughs> deterrence. Prolif. The conditions counterplan. The DA. The security DA. You upload the gut? Yes. Cool. The version of our Dropbox is the yeah. one you want. Is it different than the thing I just saved? Mm, not really, no. It just I just took out a DA link turn analytic. Cool. The one yeah. So does anyone need the order again? I think I got it. The turns pro lift counterplan DA K. Cool. Is everyone ready? It's weird on a public forum topic that the framing issue on this advantage is that our evidence is much more recent than their topic. This should be the framing issue for this entire scenario. Uh, with the only scenario for escalation is uh, when the United States does not actively deter North Korea from escalation, which means that only we have in a scenario for this hour evidence is from 2017. You should take this uh, into account better than their defense, which is about oh, conventional D BMDs and from 2010. They are modernizing now, which means that the only scenario for escalation as a result of North Korea's war is us. We read the Board 17 card, which proves uniqueness is for the affirmative that war is likely now. They say that there's no internal link between tests and war. Yes, there is. At testing means that the likelihood for war Escalates now. Joe Trump is on alert status and it means the scenario for a miscalculation. High deterrence works. Our cards are much better than theirs. Three three cards from 2017 that indicates that it deters North Korea from attack and is part of a credible strategy that ensures that North Korea does not escalate. Only deterrence is sufficient to deter North Korea from acting out. Other, all, uh, all of the recent missile testing proves that other methods do not work. Their side evidence they say is bad. Yes, it's about troop removal. They concede the internal link, which is about South Korean kick out if we are, are perceived as not being credible enough in our assurance of South Korea, which is not about Trump fiatting that troops will move. There's a kick out uh, of 
troops causes multiple scenarios for escalation nuclear war because it assures of people it does not adequately assure our allies and causes South Korea and Japan proliferation. They say the tech is not there. Yes, there is. Our evidence is one much newer and second test from a few days ago proved that ICBMs it can take out ICBMs. They say the tests are rigged. This from 2012 and is totally biased. Our evidence proves that from multiple news sources proves that it works. They say that it fails. This burns 10 card. Shoot one. We have shot down every single test missile. And two, this is an AF card. It shows that every other BMD fails. Only that is sufficient. They say no pro lift. Yes, pro lift. That will be on the other advance. They concede that the absolute no North Korea collapse, which causes stability and draws in China, turns into DA. They've also conceded that we independently deter South Korea from attacking North Korea, which has another scenario for nuclear war that was unanswered, which means that we have to win the usual debate. Pro lift advantage. We are key to assurance. Otherwise, if we remove that, it just signals to Japan and South Korea that we are unable to credibly reassure them against the North Korean and Chinese threat, which causes them to seek nuclear weapons, which causes Asian pro lift symbolic 15 evidence much better than their impact defense. It's much more recent and assumes miscalculation. Uh, they say that it's about BMGs expanding the umbrella. This is there's no overstretch, and that is part of the current, current uh, strategy of resistance. They said that they can't be as credible. That is the app internally. They say it's about South North South Korea proliferating first. Now that's absolutely not the case. Our evidence is about Japan independently nuclearizing. They say BMGs in Japan. That's totally wrong. Kelly and Cuba 15, very hum, and lucky to work with Japanese partners who raised against any North Korean missile. Japan was very interested in this. Japan was have ages. They say that uh, it doesn't happen. This Kula card is totally wrong. First, it does not assume that the alliance breaks out in its totality, and second, it does not assume independent reason to uh, acquire weapons in the face of North Korea. They say no impact of pro lift. Yes, pro lift. It collapsed the MPT cause of Pakistan. Uh, nuclearization is involved. It's much better because it speaks to uh, command and control systems in Asia specifically. They say that is irrelevant. This argument is about every uh, this our advantage turns is because it says that we need conventional uh, conventional presence, presence which the uh, AF kicks out. They say that umbrella solves. This is about assurance, which only the AF solves and includes deterrence, which means they link to a counter plan. Conditions, counter plans are a voting issue. They drop this. No explanation of how more pressure works. They have five rounds of six party talks proves that it, it totally fails and it does not solve the AF. The deterrence and assurance advantages are totally conceded. Restraint fails. There's newer evidence. One, North Korea does not trust China. That deters the United States Freeman card. They say two, China has no interest in pressuring uh, North Korea. It links to the disadvantages because it's flexing our muscles to manipulate China, which means it's much worse than the AF. Uh, old causes. Their Ross card concedes that a bunch of other things like a pivot should have triggered this, which proves that it's overwhelming, re overwhelmingly resilient. They conceded two impact turns to the CA. For example, conceded that U.S. commitment to East Asia is key to prevent China from ruin ruining rough shot over the SCS countries like Vietnam and Philippines are already starting to bend the knee. This is the hate and evidence for only two days ago. There's only evidence. There's no reason that BMD is key. That's the thesis of their whole DA. I'm sorry, I read this on the wrong page. But if BMD isn't key to the U.S. containment of China, why the hell is it the only one? Only possibly causes China to lash out independently. They have no good answer. The relations straight off impact. And they just say no bright line. Their own TNC evidence proves that the that is the bright line because it's a central lightning rod of China create tensions, which means removing it would be a massive middle finger to Korea. They can see the impact of this, which means the Campbell evidence that like relations or keep the Northeast in stability. They say pressure works. We won't go for that argument. We're just only going for the counterpoint. It's not solve the app. They say leverage. There's no leverage. It doesn't work. Uh, the missile defense key arguments. Trump does it now. It proves that pressure fails. Now the DA. Um, I extended the impact turns on the wrong page. Blow them here. Anyways. Um, that's the main scenario. We're going for the DA because they just totally undercover the defense. They say that causes uh, causes offensive and defensive. This argument is totally wrong. Why do we have troops that are both offensive and defensive? Disproves the thesis of the DA. We can see the J Hong 17 evidence. They say that they we still have general presence. That is an all cause Guam and Taipei, Japan and, uh, and specifically proof that it's not resilient. They say the pivot doesn't deter. This all means that we've already pissed off China. This is a uh, Ross card will attend for them as all causes to the DA. They say specifically conventional war. They don't have a scenario for escalation to nuclear war other than uh, some random drawn scenario which the AF advantage massively outweigh and link to. And they say there's no proof for the bright line South Korea relations are worse. What the heck does this even mean? The relations right off the argument is so much better. China rise kills eager relations. 2015, uh, China's a global force creating pressure on our allies that underpin the liberal order. Nowhere this is truer than transatlantic relations. If the U.S. looks isolated, the allure of the China worker risk converting European allies and least find ways China threatens to crack the American alliance. China calling the question about the special relations ban. NATO attacked Britain, Germany, France, and Italy joining AIB. China's economic mechanism risk pulling away Germany away. Uh, Chinese trade tests the limits of European Union by creating a scramble uh, for mercantile advantage. China has not been shy about the divide and conquer tactics. Uh, U.S. EU relations clearly to solve nuclear war straight of off. This intent, the U.S. relations are a period of transition. Terrorism, nuclear of North Korea, Iran, Russia, and China, Central Asia, Baltic countries, the Middle East, so poverty, climate change, and other problems, cooperation between the US uh, and Europe is imperative. Can mark the card there. Um, they had some random analytic about how uh, we don't pee off piss off China enough, but our advantage is entirely about pissing off China. That's good. It contains them. Now, the scared game. Um, oh, wait, I'll just read one more card in the DA. No link to China backlash. Friedenberg 15. Uh, Mike Beijing sees that as a provocative itself. This China is already happening. Said Jackson putting Chinese Russian research and hypersonic weapons. Both are already basing investments in conflict with the West. Missile events in Korea will do little change that calculus. Mark the card there. P critique. They could see that extension outweigh should be the primary issue. Their only answer here is that they access extension. No, no scenario for how they turn the case. We have only specific reasons, they, and you should prefer proximate causes, which is the more evidence. They link to the critique. Their entire counter plan is about threatening China with that, which is, uh, and all of their arguments about posturing China as bad, which means they link. This is a contradiction. It's a voting issue. It means that the critique goes away. They conceded uh, fair, the framework. You should, we, they after should get to the plan, they have to weigh competitive policy option fairness. They move the goalposts, which is a fairness education. Their education defense. They can read as impact framing, which solves their F choice means more in depth, which was conceded. Extension outweighs all of our the perm do both. 
and all other instances this, uh, this other policy is linked. Uh, uh, reality does not shape, uh, reality does not work, uh, doesn't, or sorry, reality outweighs representations. Wet 99 discourse of reality cannot account for representational failures. Mont Montezuma faced the same as no problem. Many will refer to the, who called themselves Spaniards. Uh, Montezuma was wrong. The Spaniards were not gods and had come to conquer his empire market. Uh, there, um, work proves that deterrence, work is, proves rational. That deterrence is rational, which means the link goes the other direction. They said it's wrong to read contradictions. They linked to this K. The only reason we didn't answer this more cards is because they linked themselves and didn't even answer the contradictions argument in the block. I think it was more inefficient than that one. Here's another CP. More efficient? Less efficient. Do you want to go through your own? I think we made it probably would have been better. No, we don't. We don't. that, but it's okay. We don't have to use a larger terminal. We only look at the security just anyway, so it's okay. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, 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 that's fine. Also, we don't even really like the security page, because it's like we try to pull each other. Um, security's not about pulling each other. I'm lost, I like missed, I got confused on the CP, so can we kind of look at your book on the CP? Um, I was confused about the CP. All this is on Yeah, next time you should just tell me to kick an advantage. What are those cards say? I didn't have my own speech. No, no, no. He just like literally just extends it, and he like doesn't respond to like why we should engage in a debate that's both like. We already have a war. What? Yeah, it just expands the ground of the debate. That's good. Right, we have that's that's not a war. That's just that's like like it's just literally. Okay. Um, let me just read. Okay. What else did you read on the CP? You read um. I got lost. I didn't feel like anything in the CP here. Oh, this is. The DA, the flexing stuff that you explained, explained the whole cost of stuff. I accidentally, I accidentally read the uh, terms yeah, yeah, of the DA the <laughs> counter plan, but yeah. whatever. Um, I said, they s I answered, so uh, they said, has leverage. I said, no leverage. Cross applied both. They said, missile defense systems are key to leverage and Trump. I said, Trump pressures that now proves it fails. Um, and then solves the China DA. I just said, like, miscalculated likely in the app, and then that's it. And then I went to the DA. Rothbard, does that meant to be advantage on the DA? Um, yeah, I accidentally put that before. Okay, cool. I put them in both locations on yep. accident. That's fine. Well, it's because, like, the difference between the offense that they extended in the 2 and C for both the counter plan and the DA were, like, very mixed. So, okay. I'm um, trying yeah, mixing placing the best for I'm going to talk to you. Yeah. Uh, I guess I'll call it. I'm going to say, like, one more thing. Was that three minutes? Uh, yeah. yeah I, I, like I, that. I don't really like. I kind of got lost. Yeah. <laughs> I have no idea. I Sorry, the one year was not the most organized speech I've ever given. Yeah, I was just confused when you were responding to the CP because I thought mixed in with the. Yeah, DA. it did just, happen. Like, oh, I got to answer these. That's because I was answering block right. arguments that I put on the counter plan. Oh yeah. yeah. Speaking. Um, <laughs> that's confusing. Okay. Yeah? I don't know what it is, but sure. 
Is it on the K? Mm-hmm. Okay. 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 It'll go like deterrence, prolif, CP, DA. He wants me to say K, so mm -hmm. maybe. Okay. Uh, here I'll pull up the timer. This is six minutes. Six minutes. All right. Minutes. Mm -hmm. All right. Do you, which one do you need? I'll take the black one. Okay. Oh wait, no, no. They're red. <laughs> My bad. Everyone ready? Yeah. Oh, I'm good. The first thing he says is there's an internal link between like uh, th threats and war because there's like a chance of miscalculation. They dropped the Farley 13 evidence, which is there's a, like a low like, chance of uh, accidental war. It's like really highly unlikely. And North Korea is uniquely going to be cautious because they know they'd get annihilated in any war with like the U.S. or any other region, which means there's like no chance of North Korean war, which means like all of their case evidence goes away and you can like vote on any risk of the DA or uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, but then, then they say it's like tro uh, troop removal is going to happen. Then they like just say the Snyder card is like. They can see the Snyder card is not good, which means troop removal is not going to happen. I would say that they don't then therefore get the bright line if troop removal is not going to happen uh, to, to uh, like breaking down the alliance. They don't read you great evidence as like uniquely like the political signal of that or anything else is like key to finding the alliance, which means if troop pull is not going to happen because uh, the card doesn't ever say that Trump is actually going to pull out the troops and why hasn't it already happened, then like it's not going to actually dec decrease the alliance and uh, blow up the deterrence, which is like their entire link. Then they're also losing that that is not uh, effective. They say first to our butt 13, or they say that first their evidence is more recent. I would say that it's like a fundamental flaw with the, the reality. It doesn't matter how recent their evidence is. They're all evidence all funded by the military industrial complex. It's ironic that they call our evidence bias when they drop the analysis that literally the military industrial complex just convinces us that FAD and other systems work. But like in reality, like the staff evidence is very explicit that the uh, technology is just a pipe dream. But then they say the butt 12 card is biased. That doesn't really make sense. It just literally says the tests are controlled. They're like not in battlefield situations, which is really important considering the Burns 10 evidence, which says uh, that, that basically in a real war situation, it's much harder to detect them because the uh, dust from the atmosphere or dust from the, the explosion of a uh, bomb basically prevents, prevents like uh, the radar from detecting it accurately and makes sure like makes a bunch of flaws in the system they just say like if we shot down missiles on test this is clearly non-responsive like obviously if we shot down a missile in a test that doesn't solve for the fact that like once you shot down a nuclear missile that creates the clouds and then you can't shoot down the next one and they say that that is nuclear better like no warrant for this that has not been battle tested either and step 13 pros that like technology is finally flawed which means if we win this we're winning the deterrence argument your terminal defense on the deterrence argument because there's no reason why A, the U.S. would pull out, and B, South Korea would get any more scared, or the allies would get scared if, like, the military officials themselves actually know that these systems aren't effective, and it clearly wouldn't deter North Korea either if they know they could just, like, overwhelm it with a swarm of nuclear weapons. Then, go to, uh, Prolif. They're dropping a bunch of evidence on the link. First, they say that, like, uh, Japan, like, wants ages. I would say that Japan already has, like, other BMDs. Like, how much BMD do they need before we prevent them nu nuclearizing? They never prove that Japan is nuclearizing the status quo. They just prove they would nuclearize, or they just say they would nuclearize if the alliance got weaker, but clearly they don't ever read that the alliance is getting weaker. And they drop the, or they, they respond to the Kulaki card that says, like, in the, it, like, we're not giving the most extreme scenarios, right? So, like, it's not relevant. The Kulaki evidence is clearly talking about, like, even in the most extreme scenarios, it would still not be worth it for Japan to get nuclear weapons, which means, like, obviously if that, like, not the deployment of that is, like, a less extreme scenario than the scenario, uh, then the scenario that the Kalaki card is talking about, where we like literally pull out like all the alliances, and they still wouldn't get nuclear weapons because it wouldn't be in their interest because there'd be so much international backlash. Then clearly uh, they're losing this argument that Japan would never get nuclear weapons, and they drop the South Korean nuclearization. And you can extend the Gupta 13 card here that says there's like, a bunch of other technical barriers and political barriers South Korea ever nuclearizing, which means that like they have no link to any country nuclearizing. Those are the only two countries they ever name in the round. Don't let them bring up like another example and just say generically like what's will cause a cascade in the region. Uh, yeah, so they're not winning that argument. Yeah. Then. Go to the CP, right? Extend the fact that right now China's not doing enough to solve the North Korean threat, right? They say that like North Korean threat's getting worse. We would say that that like that would get it would be getting worse faster if China wasn't pressuring them, and we have to make China pressure them more. And they, they drop all the evidence that like that they concede all the evidence that like that is key and that is uniquely making them uh that is unique unique to like making them uh agree to to put on more sanctions on North Korea. Then they say that like um. Oh, and most importantly, they dropped the Lee 16, both Lee 16 cards that both uniquely say that China is like the pipeline to North Korea, that if China cuts it off, North Korea would have to listen because they'd be faced with like the, uh, the prosperity of regime collapse because China funds all of their economy, which means this turns their case independently because if we win that the CP can denuclearize North Korea, it, it like it solves all future problems with like their entire case about how all these countries are scared of nuclearizing because they're scared of nuclearizing like mainly because of North Korea, especially on the deterrence argument, which means if we denuclearize North Korea, we solve the case and this ultimately outweighs. Uh, what else did they say on the CP that I need to answer? Um, other than that it doesn't solve the app, which I'll get to in, like, in... No, it does, it does solve the app. Yeah, yeah. Uh, no, nothing else. Um, yeah, okay, cool. Um, yeah. Then let's go to the DA. They say, they say a bunch of all causes. The Zhang evidence is very explicit that like the defensive advantage that, uh, that missile defense gives is what's causing them to like... Re uh, 
revise their NFU policy. Like, clearly they haven't done it yet, which means that uh, if the all causes were true, then, like, well, they should have already done it. And then the Jehun card is pretty good here. It says that, like, specifically deploying that will cause force them to revise their NFU policy. They say that, like, we need to... Uh, then they say the relations trade-off argument. The problem is, like, they never prove that that uh, relations are, are with, with South Korea are in threat in the status quo, which means, like, we don't... Like, they say, like, pissing off China is a good thing and improves relations, but they never prove that, like, not pissing off China, like, Dex relations. So they, uh, like, relations are clearly, like, sufficient enough in the status quo to prevent nuclearization. Like, they're not going to get worse if we just, like, don't piss off China. Uh, so they don't have, like, a great impact to that. And they're, like, their evidence about how it, like, provides reasonable stability is just talking about, like, the fact that we have an alliance with them, not, like, how strong the connection is. Then, okay. then they read, like, what? what? Yeah, yeah, I can read that on the K okay, phone. Um, then they read, like, uh, this Hain 14 card in the Friedenberg evidence saying that, like, China will, will, we need to contain China. The problem is, like, the... The uh, the Frable 15 evidence says uniquely that it's not China that we need to contain, it's the other allies who China's like provoking against that would be more likely to retaliate when they fear a first strike from China if they revise their NFU policy, which means that shoot rigors more uniquely if China becomes more expansive in their world. China without an NFU policy never causes nuclear war, never causes a war in the region because clearly they even read you that China's being aggressive in the status quo, which is fine because China's being aggressive in the status quo without an NFU policy clearly doesn't cause nuclear war, but the Frable 15 That's evidence says that it has a chance of causing nuclear war if, um, if you do that. Yeah. You just you just want to read from here? Yeah, 12 well, seconds. Left. I have 12 seconds. Yeah, 12 seconds. Just go for it. Okay, extend the Karazana 12 evidence. Their evidence is they go for the one-hour little leaks into the Oriental Retreat. More importantly, the economist evidence which literally says the MPT fails because of the production of the West Imperialism. RCP solves for the failure of the MPP. Extend an on seven who says the impact of the Oriental Retreat when the Western consumption of the West should fix the East justifies violence and extinction. Wang. One, the Oriental Retreat literally solves back for the MPT impact that's and oh, that's uh, oh, the yeah. only defense. I don't know. Yeah, what that's, that's fine. Is. We have two minutes. Uh, 145, I think. Anything specific for now? Uh, so we'll drop the NOCO uh, slap scenario and the SOCO attack scenario. Oh, that. The Gimli Reed Impact Defense to Pro Look in that speech. Oh, um, wait, I dropped Yeah, you're right. No, that's fine. Uh, I dropped the. Uh, it's a good speech. I like it. Don't have. Uh, the Japan of the BMD seems to be strong. <laughs> <laughs> I just said it's so good, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah but I don't understand it. So okay, okay, yeah, no, no, that's it. Japan's is BMDs now seems to be strong. This is like my yeah, 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 This is true. Because the only impact that you can use for it is on the. We should upgrade the layer. I dropped the drawings on there. That would have been good. I wrote it on the front of it. They dropped the link against the DA. The drop conditions to the public. They have no idea. They have no explanation for the question. Oh, they got it. And they just like no answers to it. Like, the economics of it's like, the link only goes one direction because we don't like it. 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 And the link turns out to be a group of issues. We really try to solve for the entire thing. I don't know how we want to deal with that. But, uh, it's, yeah. No, it was probably the best speech you could have. Gonna be the deterrence advantage, the prolif advantage, the K, the counter plan, the DA. They didn't ask you to do that. What? They did not. Okay. Anybody not ready? Let's get, let's get. 
North Korea has a 5 million person standing army, which makes up 25% of the population. They've already <gasps> used uranium to build nuclear bombs, blown up ships in South Korea, and just tested ICBMs. You should ask yourself whether this threat is constructed or whether you can go to Seoul and tell them that obviously the critique of Western academia doesn't make a whole lot of sense when half of our scholars are from Korea saying this is obviously a real threat that's 13 miles from their capital. Troll has a PhD from literally the DPRK's Academy of Social Sciences. He studied this in North Korea itself. Bechtel spent 20 years in Korea. These are not constructed threats. They are real and they have zero answer to the question of reasons. The old evidence 10 years ago, before they said the ICBMs were tested, which means you should prefer the Cohen and Starbucks as well as the Bechtel, because they are from literally this week and say that the game has changed because North Korea is progressing faster than has been predicted. You should ask yourself whether North Korea is really just a scared country trying to provide defense when they're testing ICBMs capable of launching missiles thousands of miles away. That is not something you do in a defensive posture. They have also considered the evidence qualification to differential. You should read every single card in every one of the documents. They literally, none of them have any qualification, which means you should defer to our evidence who are professors and senior fellows at places like Strategic Institute for Studies of Korea, which means you prefer their, their evidence from Burns and Tin could just will be Mr. Burns from The Simpsons. For all you know, they have zero qualifications and zero reason to prefer them. There is also a question of magnitude, of magnitude difference that has been dropped on this entirety of the mirror. And they're considering the North Korean war is the most likely one escalate because every major re country has a stake in the region. China, Russia, the U.S. all have reasons to be drawn in as would have happened in the first Korean war. This is important because their entire case is just silly ad hominems of Western scholarship. And it seems that the app is automatically wrong because the sco spooky Western academic teachers prefer our evidence here. Even if we win zero risk of deterrence, they have dropped to win to independent internal experts we need to turn not just North Korea but South Korea. This is a considered I mean the two easy and on the one area that the reason South Korea does not attack the North is because they recognize the US can defend them even if they win that North Korea is scared of the United States. South Korea obviously is not means they're, they're more likely to start the war on their own in the world. Uh, absent that this is an independent army that's conceded throughout the entire debate and it means we can lose zero percent risk of deterrence and still they've also conceded the regime stability argument that North Korea actually maintains regime stability by using the US as the boogeyman to rally support which means North Korea is less likely to collapse and spiral inward to a rumble instability in the world of the United States. The first argument here is the far left, which is not explained in the two and are just a search that is online. You should prefer our more recent evidence. I did about a minute of work at the top of the two and so my next thing say there's no reason why the signal the USS here is not everything is pretty good and also just makes a whole lot of logical sense. The thesis of their own D is that that is the linchpin of US commitment to the region. It's the thing that China is looking towards, Korea is looking towards to determine whether next the United States has Korea's back in wars between other countries like China, which means obviously it is the bellwether of overall US presence. The conceded evidence at the top of the second amendment says that the Entire the deterrent system is an interwoven mesh of different things. Obviously, uh, the other ones become less credible if we withdraw other important aspects of BMD. The next argument is. What is this argument? Oh, they assert that deterrence is fundamentally flawed. No, first off, this is the thesis of the conceded entrance of the critique that deterrence doesn't assume Korea is irrational, assumes they are rational. Rational people can be deterred by the threat of retaliation. This is the uh, fundamental argument they are making for us that North Korea is a rational actor, which is the reason why deterrence is necessary and works. I think this is sufficient to win the debate on its own because both of the disadvantages as well as the critique assume that Korea war is not imminently going to break out. If we win, that the status quo definitely is heading to run the, down the path to an imminent war in the North Korean peninsula. It's obviously the reason why China war is inevitable because they will get drawn in, as well as the reason why the critique is wrong because those sets are not represented. The second advantage. We're not going for the proliferation impacts between most of the defense doesn't apply, but they've dropped two independent impact scenarios throughout this period. First is missile proliferation, independent of nuclear weapons causes conflict because it makes countries more able to aggress against each other because they can bypass BMD systems. Second is they've conceded the entire US alliance network globally rests on countries like South Korea because if we perceive or perceive as not backing up our allies in important conflicts like the North Korea, South Korea conflict, that means other countries like Israel and Iran, Japan do not trust this. The reason why the entire global international arena goes kaput and norms based international law breaks down because the United States no longer has the back of major allies. The only other argument Japan has other BMD. This is literally just emblowing off the top of a set in the two in our argument. It's from 2017. It says Japan doesn't think the current BMD is sufficient and wants BMD specifically to protect North Korea. So you should default to our evidence. The counter? No. The K. I don't think he actually said anything here in the two in our center has to do much, but it takes up their disadvantage more than it takes up the advantage because they said threats are constructed, which applies just as much to their DA, which is a constructed threat as to our F. We're the only ones doing work as to how our specific predictions overcome that because they don't rely on an assumption of you know, Eastern irrationality. They assume that North Korea is rational and can be deterred, which is the thesis of the critique because it assumes that North Korea actually understands how war fighting works. Which is the reason why the critique is an affirmative argument because the reason why you shouldn't just assume that China will irrationally lash out the moment the US deters them, but the reason why you shouldn't assume that deterrence is functional and we should maintain our presence. The 
They just said, we need to pressure them more. What the hell does that look like? They have not explained it to you throughout the entirety of this debate round. Their own evidence, which was pointed out in the tweets, he says that China is already putting North Korea uh, under the under fire and twisting its arm, asking yourself, what more can they do? What more will they do when they try to use the president of the United States just nebulously starts do more in South Korea or do more in North Korea? Does that make any sense? And they have not explained it. There have already been five rounds of six-party talks where China tried to pressure Korea and it did not do anything. So you should prefer the two easy evidence that says that it purely fails because North Korea is obviously already isolationist and does not care a whole lot about international pressure. All they care about is regime survival and reason why deterrence outweighs any of their internal It doesn't solve the app anyway because the result of the counter plan is not putting that in East Asia, which means it doesn't act as any of the second energy management alliances. Oh, one more argument here. It links to the DA. This was not answered and this is important. They have conceded, as of the 2NC, their own 2NC explanation of this counter plan. Is that the function of the counterplan is to threaten China with BMD until it complies. That is obviously the antithesis of us making peaceful cooperation with China. It's literally the same thing they're saying is bad because it's perceived as us aggressing into East Asia, which China would hate. Conceded, they have no unique offense. Voting issue. What? Conceded to voting issue. Oh, yeah, they also dropped the voting issue. Conditions counterplans are bad because they make it uncertain what we're answering because what the implementation of the counterplan is depends on empirical questions. The DA. Only one argument we need to go for here. They have not explained the internal link or an impact of the data. They just start in a few war, no explanation. They've conceded that China is inevitably aggressive. They've already tried to push back against Vietnam, Philippines, etc. in the SS, which means the only risk of deterring them is U.S. deterrence. That was a conceded hate and evidence, which is the only answer to new in the two and the only answer that it's bad. It's literally from this week, which means the Evans cannot assume it. We have impact turned this DA. They have no answer to it. Even this DA itself is an infinite reason to vote for. <laughs> Oh my god, this is really <laughs> <laughs>